Hello, my YouTube friend, Pop Comics here. Uh, we have a big, giant pile of comics to sort through today. Let me see who's here. Let me, I'm gonna flip on. We're gonna walk around the block real quick, and then uh, we're gonna go dig through comic books. Hey, Jason. Hey, Tina. My two best, super awesome people are in here. First, I love it. Hey, Angry Otter Comics. Uh, Angry Otter, yes. That's why I buy big, giant piles of comics because no matter what, it's a big, giant, fun pile of comic books. No, we're on Pop Comics. We're just walking around the block and then we're going to sort through comics. I just want to say hello to everyone first. Hey, Kendall Kid. Hey, Stan Lee. Hey, Farid. Hey, Grace. I just walk around the block to say hello to everyone and uh, then we're going to dig through the comics. Hey, Raphael. So basically, uh, we opened up early today because someone was visiting the city and they wanted to visit the shop. So we opened up early. It was very casual. Uh, and I was just in the shop doing a little bit of work. And uh, a young couple came in and they said they had comics to sell. Hey, Paul. And it was, uh, they said they had a car full of comic books. Like, uh, you know, I think it was seven long boxes worth, but in milk crates. Hey, Peter. Hey, Trap. Um, so, you know, comics. I'm kind of worn out for comics. So Jason was over at the shop yesterday helping me sort comics all day. And I'm like, I'm kind of worn out from comic books. But, uh, hey, oh, I said, hey, Trevor. But, uh, well, you know, when people, hey, Brian, when people say comics, I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta dig. We're on Pop Comics, correct? <laughs> I don't think I'm on the walk channel. I'm pretty sure I'm on the comic channel. Uh, so, yeah, I looked at them. There was a lot of what I would call junk. But I, I call a lot of just cheap junk as in value monetarily. When I say junk, I never mean that the actual comics are junk. I love all comics. Whether the stories are terrible or the best thing ever created, I love them all. So when I say junk, I just mean that they're not sellable or low sellable. But I browsed through and there's a lot of decent, you know, one to $3 books. So that was okay. And then I saw a few keys. So I didn't want to dig through everything because you know me, I kind of like a good mystery. So I told him, I said, you know what? I'm gonna grab one random box, pull out the stuff I thought had value, and then, you know, make an offer on that and then an offer for everything that was left over. So basically I pulled out a handful of books. I figured I'd pay about $30 for the handful. And then, you know, the remaining 200 books, maybe 20 cents a piece. Hey, Kenneth. So I said $70 a box times seven, 490. They said, how about uh, $80 a box, I think they said? I said, well, it's $4.90, let's just make it 5 They said, okay. So I paid $500 for everything. And we're going to sort it out. I'll go sort it into Marvel, DC, Image, and Indie, I believe. And based on that, we're going to see if there's any... You guys can help me this, see if there's any value in them or not. And, uh, wow, this is going to be exhausting. It's also... We're, the stores are open, so it's very crowded. So here, I'll show you what we got. We have six milk crates like this with you know this kind of random stuff uh some more interesting stuff so we got six of those oh no five milk crates one box here and one long box you guys ready to dig i gotta set up the tripod so we can dig through all these okay i'm gonna put this actually let me get this off the stabilizer and get it onto the tripod i'm gonna start digging through comics I also thought I was going to do it in the basement, but I, right now I don't want to put anything in the basement until it's semi-sorted. Okay. There we go. Okay, we are set up. We are, have full power. Okay, I'm going to get started. I have these four boxes. Uh, can I figure out the best way to do this? Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Take care. Okay, let's try this. Okay, not quite ready yet. Just trying to set this up. Hey, Art. Okay. Oh, no. I think I'm just gonna go. All right, we're gonna just grab a handful at a time. I gotta make room. Uh, I don't have a proper setup. Okay. Okay, let's just handful. Okay, so what do we got? We got, if you guys see anything, now see some of this stuff is kind of beat up. So I knew, oh, Dark Horse, I'm gonna do separate. Hey, Jonah. 
yeah, so we got Marvel. I mean, there's stuff like this that's, you know, okay, not terrible. There was um, the first White Vision I saw, so there was. But there's also weird indie stuff like this, which I do like. And I kind of like buying bulk like this, just to add weird indie stuff to my collection. Uh, I need to find a better way to... Hey, Zeke! Here, I'm going to put this down so we can go to Mill Crate level. I think that will help. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do this because it's a little bit crowded in the shop right now. There we go, milk crate level. Uh, no, no, they represent, I have, um, I'm doing Marvel, DC, Image, and Indie. Which, let me see if I can go to widescreen. There we go, that'll work. Like, all the Indie, I'm going to start sort later into a better, like, more concise sort. But for now, I'm just doing one indie. Uh, there was Magnus Robot Fighter number one. I think that one has a little bit of value. Uh, there's some more scandalous comics. Let me... I know the brown box underneath is the one that I kind of use to test out the value of everything. Uh, there is a little bit of image. It's funny, too. They said it was their uncle's comics. And so it just, you know, it sounded like it was going to be old comic books, but this is like the kind of comic... <laughs> I feel old. <laughs> this is the old uncle comic books, and it's like my childhood right there. I guess I'm at the age of old uncle. Oh, Epic, I'm going to pull out separate as well. Oh. Uh, oh, this is cool. I think this one actually has a little bit of value. That one's actually really cool. Oh, I like the interiors too. Just very, um, like, watercolored. Yeah, that is cool. See, I don't mind buying this kind of, like, lesser value stuff because it's stuff I enjoy. But I don't know if there's any, like, really big... If you guys see any big keys as I'm going through, just let me know. Or anything that's worth maybe more than 10 bucks. Oh, Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. Yeah. DC. Marvel. All right, so this box, nothing too exciting in this box. Marvel. Jason's probably screaming in his head, why don't you put that in A through M, N through Z, why don't you put that in, because that's what we were doing yesterday with all the Marvel. <laughs> uh, there was a lot of Milestone books, which uh, for 20 cents a piece is pretty awesome. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to be the creepy uncle either. Okay, image. Uh, I do really like these uh, Asian... Um, I guess it's Jade Man comics. I just really like the watercolor style of them. Here, I'm gonna. All right, I'm just trying to figure out how the best make this. Okay, let's go up a little bit. Okay, I think that's easier. Okay, so we got that. So that's what we're just going to do. We're going to sort out the whole collection into the basics. Uh no, I've never heard of that. I do want to go to more conventions all over like i this uh that same weekend i think is uh buffalo has a con uh captain adam 14 do what issues of captain adam have value i forget the captain adam ones oh bubblegum crisis that's actually got a little bit of value oh that's cool i'll put that in the dark horse pile superboy zero hi all right justice league got lobo cool cover Homage to 101. That's cool. Uh, oh, Alien vs. Predator. That's kind of cool. Put that in the Dark Horse pile. Got more indie. Okay, nothing too exciting yet. Uh, yeah, and then stuff like this. I don't even know what to do with like the weaker image. But stuff like this, I'm actually happy to get. Because I don't know if I have that. I do like epic stuff. Oh, okay, we just won. We won the internet. We got Dark Hawk New Stand Edition number one. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm overly excited for something that's not worth that much. But still, Dark Hawk one, yes. <laughs> okay, we won. We, we won the internet today. Uh, this one's a bit damaged. Sadly, they said that a lot of the older stuff had water damage, which is really, really sad. A oh, 42. Okay, 42 is the one that I need to look out for. He had a whole bunch of new mutants. I'm really hoping that the first um, Nightwing is there. Uh, we have some more of the adult comics. How does it happen that it's always the expensive stuff? 
Because it was the older stuff, so it was probably on the bottom of the pile. And then as they collected, because obviously this collector wasn't really, um, uh, yeah, no, um, this collector was not organized at all. It's very, very mixed up. So you could tell just someone who just bought stuff, maybe read it or just liked to buy it, but never really organized it, barely bagged and boarded it. It's a very, very hodgepodge. Oh, cool. Okay, second comic I think has a little bit of value. Transformers. So that's kind of when I went through the one box, that's kind of how the um, mix was. More Darkhawk. Darkhawk. Nomad. Let's see. Uh, Primeworks. Uh, it's crazy just how much uh, just stuff is out there. Amazing amount of stuff. Marvel, DC. So, so far, Image is beating DC. Tomorrow Nights, that looks cool. Epic. We got uh, more DC. Again, if you guys see anything that I'm missing that might have a higher value. Oh, Darkhawk 2. I don't know if Darkhawk 2 has any interest, any value. Uh, more Epic. And uh, Indie stuff. Okay, we're going, we're almost halfway through the first bin. Okay, now... Hey, Steve! Okay, next stack. Oh, more Darkhawk. So we're going to have a whole bunch of Darkhawk. Quasar. Uh, these ones are a little bit water damaged. They did say that the bottom stack, so I knew there was a few mixed in that were kind of damaged. Uh, very weak stuff, though. I really... I actually do not know if this was picked over or not. Because I saw enough better stuff kind of hidden that I figured it wasn't picked over. But I also feel like it's very random. Like, this is a dollar bin for the most... Oh, Bruce Lee. That's got to be worth something. Someone look that up for me. Bruce Lee, Malibu, number one. I have a feeling that might have some value. Well, they said they went to Comic Station, but Dylan said the boss is on vacation. Yeah. Yeah, so they said... Uh, Alza said that they went to Comic Station, but they weren't buying today. So he sent them over here. So thank you, Comic Station. Appreciate you. Um, obviously, if it was... You know, some Silver Age stuff of high value. I'm sure they would have made a deal. Because this is stuff... This is just a lot of work right here. Like, this kind of stuff you can't uh, sell very easily. Dollar bin food, basically. Not that it's all going to the dollar bin. It's first going to go sorted through my collection. Because I do want one of everything. But yeah, that's cool. Okay, image. Oh, these are cool. I'm actually more excited to get this kind of stuff. Jesus. Six bucks. Okay, I'll take a six dollar book. Not super valuable, but more than, you know, the 20 cents I paid. I'll take it. Vertigo. Okay, put that over there. Okay, we got Youngblood, Strike File. Uh, Ultraman, that's kind of cool. Ultraman. Hey, Darren. But yeah, this is typical. I get a big collection like this, and I just have to sort through it. I usually get through the first sort pretty quick, and then the second phase sort takes me a while. Basically, when I do second phase sort, I'm mostly looking for the things I need to restock in the shop. Because only certain things, like if it's Spider-Man books, those sell really quick. But a lot of others... Okay, so we have the spring Marvel superheroes. I'm really hoping the first Squirrel Girl is mixed in here. That would be really dope if it is. Oh, Domino 2? That's kind of good. Is this the thing you went through or not? Was that? No, I didn't look through this one. This is just like a kind of a tip. Oh, Gargoyles. Gargoyles. Ah, what number is that? Someone look that up. I have a feeling that one might have a little bit of value. Gargoyles. All right, name more. Uh, casual heroes. Like, I don't know what that is, but I love it. <laughs> Not because it's awesome, but because it's weird and different. Uh, XL Man of Wars, Iron Man. That's interesting. An Ultra Girl. I think Jason and I were just talking about that. Quasar. These are Ultraverse Indie Image uh, Karate Girl. I think that's uh, a winner right there. Hey, uh, Eddie. Oh, no, that's not it. Hey, Mr. Brightside. Sorry, I'm mixing up names. Uh, it's Marvel. My brain is really tired. We got a little bit of smoke today, so my head is uh, it's, it's fried today. Uh, oh, that's a, a, a classic right there. Here, you can read that one. 
No, it's just a little warped. Allison has some curiosity in that one. <laughs> 15 bucks in high grade. Okay. Ah, uh, it's probably... It's not terrible. It could be a very fine. So I'm guessing it's like a $5 to $10 book, which is not too bad. I'll take a $5 to $10 book. Marvel. Malibu. Oh, Mortal, Mortal Kombat number two. Very cool. Uh, online store... Yeah, Jason is. Uh, Jason's also curious in that issue. <laughs> so I'm gonna look up uh, Mortal Kombat for me. I feel like that one would have a little value. Uh, the online store. I haven't sold too much. I I did the one day and then I didn't sell too much, so I kind of gave up on it. That's cool. It's like a Lady Death uh, trade paperback. I actually haven't seen that before. I bet Condom Man is worth a lot of money. Actually, <laughs> DC Guy Gardner. All right, so this crate so far is turning out to be like so-so. Yeah, it's a little bit smoky, which is like my head is kind of pounding a little bit. It's making me feel a little bit like, uh, eh. But that's all right. You know what? Even when it's smoky, I'm still buying comics. Uh, in April, it sold for 60. Wow. So there's there's, uh, um, there's a good chance there's value. Okay, that's good then. All right. As long as each crate has like one or two books that kind of pay for everything, I'm happy. Hey, Ted. Uh, the Amazing Scarlet Spider, I bet that has a little bit of value. Oh, we got some more Lady Death. Oh, that's cool. I did not know there was Lady Death in here. I mean, I didn't really look very good. I kind of wanted to be, uh, just kind of like a mystery lot. So this is fun. Okay, so we're finding a little bit of value in here. I'm happy with that. DC. I mean, stuff like this, I know, it's just really hard to sell. But for every book like that, there's a couple and other ones I like, which is cool. Uh, Ultraverse, or not, Ultra, Malibu. Jeez, I keep thinking one thing and saying something completely different. I know my brain is fried when the that happens. Comic is out of stock on my, my comic shop. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, Gargoyles is great. Anything that's uh, nostalgic. Uh, I do like that there's Milestone in here. That's cool. I like Milestone. Okay, got Image. So far, we're pretty even, I think. Marble's a little bit... Oh, we got Magnus Robo Fighter number two. That's cool. Need more. This is fun. You guys like this format where if I just have a boatload of comics, we just kind of go through them together. Because I think this is kind of fun, actually. We got Angela 3, uh, Warblade, New Warriors. Yeah, no, usually what I'll do is I don't even put them out for sale. It's not even worth the effort. <laughs> okay, we got another one here. We have Sector. Not sector knots. Jeez, even the name is terrible, but I love it. Yeah, I love really like low brow. Someone just made it in their living room kind of uh, indie stuff. That's awesome. Really enjoy that. Okay, we got uh, more dark horse. So for the most part, I like buying lots like this because I actually just want one of everything. I kind of want a full set of comics. So I just, I like getting big lots like this of a lot of interesting, unique things that I don't normally want to pay a dollar a piece for. Uh, more Milestone, which is cool. I should really happy to see that. Uh, Wonder Man. Is he ever coming to the MCU? Uh, Machine Man 4. Uh, what's this? Oh, this, okay. This one got badly water damage, it feels like. I think this one I'm tossing. Uh, yeah, that one, that one's trash. Trash. Just way too beat up. I'm not even going to put it in a dollar bin. Uh, impact. Okay, we got uh, Steel. Legion. Uh, new Warriors. Uh, oh, that's all New Warriors, I believe. Okay, yeah. New Warriors. Oh, oops. Uh, new Warriors, New Warriors. So there's a lot of New Warriors. New Warriors is cool. I feel like they'll eventually do something with them. They'll kind of boost the popularity or interest. New Warriors. Heroes Reborn. I don't... You guys have any guess what could be in here that would have value? Like, I'm not even sure what I'm looking for. It's so random. There's no kind of organization to these at all. Uh, that is a new stand, but I don't think the new stands worth too much more. Uh, Heckler Files. 
cable. Oh, that's cool. That's a decent actor. It's Olara. Uh, oh, more of these uh, Asian books. I think they're Hong Kong books that are translated. These are cool. I actually really like those. Those I would consider digging out of a dollar bin. Uh, image. Sequest DSV. Man, nostalgia here. Okay, that's kind of cool, actually. Okay, I've got Star Trek. Star Trek. Image. Okay. I don't know. So what do I end up paying? If, I, if it was about 200 bucks a box for 70... 30 cents? Uh, Jason, there is an Amazing Fantasy 15 in here. It's a nice, beautiful reprint of it. <laughs> uh, Avengers West Coast. I don't know if any... I know there's some of these that have value. I just don't know off the top of my head. Because the longest time, they were, like, worthless. Avengers West Coast. Yes, I do. Image. Uh, War Machine. I don't know if Secret Invasion is pushing up any War Machine value at the moment. I'm enjoying, though. Episode 2 is really good, actually. Elf Lord. Super indie, but like kind of interesting looking. I would like to finish putting that run together. Uh, yes, yeah, Spider-Man 50 is a classic, classic book. DC. I have a copy. My copy's kind of lowish grade, probably like a 3.5. But I'm thrilled to have it. DC. Okay, I need to... Uh, just I gotta figure out a better way to do this because this is kind of hard to do. Uh, Cyberforce. I've actually never read West Coast Avengers, but I would like to one of these days. Image. What's that? The what about the setup? So oh yeah, no. I'm just trying to make it easier. At the next box, I'm gonna find a better way to do this so it's a little bit more comfortable. But we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get it sorted. Oh, more milestone. That's sweet. There's probably going to end up being, at this rate, maybe 50 to 100 milestone books, which is not bad. Yeah, that's super cool that there's so much milestone in there. Uh, image. Uh, Warlock. Warlock 1. Uh, oh, I don't think I have that one. Sweet. Sweet. Any of that? We got Hero, Son of Osar, really indie comic book. Like in my weird indie, like I would probably never buy that out of a dollar bin, but getting a collection like this, I love it because I can just get it without thinking. Uh, Stormwatch. Uh, Dooms 4? I actually don't think I've seen that image one. Uh, Savage Dragon, does it have a value? Which one was it? I pass it number 12. Uh, oh, is this the first appearance of the she dragon? I get it. That's probably why it's got a little bit of value. It's common though. Any of that 90s image is so freaking common. And things in the wrong. So, so far it looks like Marvel's winning out, which is a good thing, I believe. Uh, we got some vertigo. Vertigo. Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure if there's any Savage. The only Savage Dragon I know that has value is the newsstand copies from that era. And then once you get into the hundreds, then you start getting some value. Uh, Gen 13 Zero. Wildcats. Uh, yeah, I wish there were some newsstands of this stuff, because that would actually be exciting. The direct stuff is just kind of boring, because it's just so common. But I'm happy that it's not like all 90s image and not other things that are interesting to me. Okay, Avengers West Coast. Avengers Generation X. Youngblood. I don't know. So this first box is not... $70 feels like, ah, wasn't the greatest deal on this one. Oh, but we got static number one. Uh, not in the best shape. It's probably like a... Uh, it's got some tanning probably like a 5060 i still think that's maybe like a five dollar issue okay we got another but oh we got another issue of hero that is cool <laughs> sweet i love getting kind of oddball interesting different things 
Let's see, we got that. Image, image. The only thing is, there is a lot of comics in this box. It, it's like, it feels, once you start going through all of them, you realize that the, each crate holds a ton of comics. Nova, Cyber Force. X-Force, Foxfire. Okay, we're almost done with crate one. Yeah, Static One is a pretty cool score to get in a box like this. Uh, Messenger 29 looks like a really indie book, but that's kind of fun. That's awesome. Oh, we got someone's photo. Okay, if I see them again, I'll give them back the photo. 42 is the last issue, right? That's the really expensive one. I don't even know if I have... Oh, I see a Ninja Turtle coming up. Oh, sweet. Okay, we have another book of value. Uh, image. Valiant. Okay, we got Ninja Turtles number two from the Archie series. It's probably like a 5-0, though. It's got some tanning. That's still cool, though. I bet that's like a $5 issue in that condition. Happy with that. Image. Got Icon. Uh, Brothers in Arm. Is this one going up in value? Is that a big, expensive one? <laughs> uh, oh, Megaton 7. Oh, and... Go... Go... Na, go... Go... Ned. Go... Okay, I think that's a triple X. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> go, okay. We got some interesting stuff in here. Can I have two spawns? Uh, Savage Dragon and Go... Ned, please. Okay, there you go. Thunderbolts 4. Magneto. Oh, Martha Washington. I kind of like that theory. Okay. Oh, more icon. All right. So many great milestone books. This is cool. Juggernaut. Gen 13. Okay. Marvel image. All right. Marvel seems to be winning. Gen 17. Indie. Image. Uh, Aliens book is always fun. image okay one last handful in this bin okay we got marvel <laughs> don't pull the gonad <laughs> uh, image i mean marvel dc uh, dc uh, more and uh more dark horse uh, West Coast Avengers 34. Ah, it's all dog-eared, though. Malibu. Uh, Megaton 6. I feel like there's one issue of Megaton that's actually worth something. I forget, though. Uh, Amalgam Generation Hex. That's actually kind of neat. The older the Indies, the better. Uh, yeah, I think it was... The Gonad was damaged. Indy... Uh, Galactic Guardians, Marvel Age Preview, more of the Hong Kong comics, which is super cool. Marvel, 22 Brines, okay. Uh, Image, Marvel, DC. Alright, so box one. Ah. Uh, like, if I was buying these directly, I'd probably pay, like, two, four, five, ten. Uh, oh, that's just Vertigo. Ten. Ten. Twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Maybe, like, eighteen. So, I'd probably pay all, about twenty bucks for the better stuff. So, I, uh... I think I paid thirty when I calculated the one box. So, we're just a little bit below value, but not too bad for seventy bucks. So crate one, I paid seventy four. I paid seven, well, like seventy two a crate. So far, we are that much Marvel. The image is second, Indies third, DC is fourth, and then there's a little bit on the top there. Okay, not too bad of a box to begin with. Not the best box, but we did get a Dark Hawk one, which you know that's always a win. Okay, 
think we're going to uh, we're gonna go over through this long box now. This long box I think had better 80s stuff in it, if I remember correctly, like 14 Titans. This one I sorta of looked through a little bit and I remember it kind of having a bit of value. Okay. Alright, next box. This box also was $70 or $72. Let's see if it's worth it. What do you guys think? Do you think first box I overpay at 70 or do you think there was enough value mixed in? Okay. I think there's a lot of Alpha Flight in this collection, which is not super valuable, but I do sell them every once in a while for a couple bucks. So honestly, if I get like 30 a box of Alpha Flight, that would pay for the whole box. Uh, we have um, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is always good. More Wonder Woman. Uh, Spider Man's always good. So DC. All right, this is not the most comfortable setup. Just trying to figure out the best way to do this while I'm not like hunched over the whole time. Overpaid? Eh, it might have been a little bit overpaid. But, you know, there's also value in having it be a mystery because then I can do a fun video. And so I value that as well. That's the only reason why I'm willing to pay a bit more for this kind of stuff. Uh, just because I uh, I enjoy just doing videos with you guys. Mm. But the better pile, I would have paid 20 so I probably would have paid 40 to 50 retail for the better pile. And so everything else would have been 20 uh, I don't know how to do this. Oh, wait. Let me put the one crate on top of the other crate. And then I think I can do this. But also, if I overpaid, it means people should bring me their comics. Like, don't bring them to other comic shops. Bring them to me. I'm the shop that overpays. Hey, Farid. Yeah. There's not many boxes I can pay 70 bucks and get uh, 32 minutes of content out of. That's pretty fun if you guys, you know, if you ask me. Okay, all right, this, I'm a little bit taller now. This feels a little bit more comfortable. Oh, let me... Try not to block the front of the store. It's kind of hard not to, though, with all the boxes in the way. So many boxes in the way. Okay. Okay, now... Oh, I got to put that. Okay, we're good to go for box two. Now, box two was a stronger box. I'm pretty sure I had a lot more of, like, the... You know, not super valuable stuff, but... Um, Yeah, if you lived in New York, you'd bring me boxes. Free concert. But, you know, stuff like this. Warlock 42, that's one you don't get that often. Uh, there's no light over here, though. I need to flip around. All right, let's flip to the box over. <laughs> get some sunlight. Yeah, I gotta move these over. All right, move these over. Doing all right, how are you? Okay, there we go. Now we have some sunlight. Oh, and put boxes backwards. There we go. So what I liked about this box too, is you can see it's a little bit more tanned. So I knew this was a bit of an older, oh, we got Swamp Thing. You know, stuff like that's already a win. Getting some good old classic Swamp Thing. Like I would love to buy stuff like that all day. Yeah, the poor car. Like, I want to take them out of the bag, but I also don't want them to get dusty. Oops, DC's over here. We got uh, Viking Heroes. The classic. No. I think I might have hurt Jason's back yesterday, though. <laughs> we're, just, we're carrying a little bit too much around. Oh, Mage. This is cool. I would like to complete my Mage set. So it's always fun to get Mage in these kind of boxes. Okay, DC... DC. Oh, we got, okay, Miracle Man 1 3D. Uh, not in the best shape. I still think that's maybe a $5 book. So our first book with a little bit of value out of this box. Yeah, Swamp Thing. But the only problem is that it came with, you know, 30 other books with it. <laughs> if I could have picked it out at 30 cents, that would be amazing. But you, when you have to buy in bulk, uh, it's not as exciting. 
Yeah, Jason, I was sort of say too, I was going to take it easy today, and then all of a sudden I buy another 1500 Oh, Dr. Fate, that's cool. I buy another 1500 books. <laughs> I just can't help myself. I'm a comic book addict. I had I was clicking, I was playing a cookie clicker for two days, and I, I just deleted it last night. I'm like, I can't do this. It's a waste of my time. I'd rather be clicking comics all day. Justice League. Is that, um... Mm. Not sure, not sure. Oh, yeah, let me check if it has glasses. I forgot to check. It doesn't feel like it has the glasses in it. Yeah, it's missing the glasses. I don't remember if the glasses were attached or if they were in, like, a sealed bag, maybe. Oh, this one has a little bit of a rip, too. So maybe it's less than five bucks. Two or three dollars, maybe. Yeah. Okay, Superman... Uh, next man. More Dr. Feet, which is cool. I like Dr. Feet. Excalibur. DC. Starman. That's a cool cover. Starman. Uh, New Teen Titans. Okay, these are cool because I know these. There's 52. I'm hoping that, uh, was it, 44? I didn't look really carefully, so I don't know if it's in there or not. Uh, oh, Teen Titans 1. Okay. That's probably like a five to ten dollar book. Okay, second book of value. It's oh Superman's 85th anniversary. That's awesome. Uh, today specifically or this year? Teen Titans. I do like the Teen Titan issues. I probably have most of them because I used to uh you know pull them out of dollar bins. But there might be a few I'm missing. New Warriors. Dr. Feet. Dr. Feet is the best. Oh, okay, I see one book of value popping out here. So, yeah, this is the kind of stuff that made me say, okay, I'll pay a bit more than, like, 20 cents overall because there are a few books. This is a uh, probably a very fine copy of the Dark Knight Triumphant. What is that going for right now? Ten bucks, maybe? Not 100% sure. I have tons of Golden Age that might only have, you know, 50 left in the world. Okay, we're going to take this out. So this issue is not really worth anything. Oh, I love the Spider-Man movie. I thought it was fantastic. I want to see it again really badly. That's one I'll buy on Blu-ray, I think. So this is just a little teeny uh, skateboarding, snowboarding, biking, little magazine. And then uh, in the back, there's a comic, though. There we go. We got Sergio Ar Aragonis Mad Look at Snowboarding absolutely amazing it makes this thing super awesome put that in the awesome pile okay we got more marvel marvel we got uh witch blade which is always fun oh carnage it's a wonderful life someone looked that up for me i believe that's a 20 dollars book it looks like it's very fine the near mint i don't see any major damage on it so it might be near mint there might be a slight spine stick to i have to look closer at it but tell me what like a very fine and a near mint goes for i feel like that has some value okay that's marvel DC. Uh, Marvel versus DC stuff is always worth a little bit. Maybe five bucks. Pull that out. It's another book of value. DC. DC. Amalgam. Amazon. So it's Storm Wonder Woman mashup. That's kind of neat. Uh, Rick Morty number one, 9.8 is amazing. I don't know if that book is rare, but it's... Oh, did he do Gru? I did not know Sergio Aragonis did Gru. Farid, I did not know that. Hey, Sean. 20 bucks. I thought it was worth 20 bucks. All right, this one feels water damaged. That one's going into the trash pile. Uh, oh, that one's a little bit water damaged, too. Dang it. Trash pile. Okay, Thunderstrike. All right. We're looking through... Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's your birthday today. It's today. What's today? Today's the 29th. Happy birthday, Sean. Happy. Everyone sing happy birthday. Wait, wait. I got to do this. Wait. We got to do this. Um, oh. I just realized. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, most amazing Sean in the world, even more amazing than me. Happy birthday 
to Sean. I had to do that. I appreciate Sean. Sean is amazing. Sean, these were came from a guy that um, they said it was from their old uncle. Their old uncle collection. Because old uncles collected this kind of stuff. <laughs> old uncle comic books. Okay. It's alright. You're not going to get a birthday to you. <laughs> Wonder Woman. Okay. Okay, we got X-Force. We got Silver Surfer. We got... You are very welcome. Got Image. Oh, Dynamo Joe. Alright, I don't know what else is in this box. I'm kind of hoping that there's... Oh, there we go. Someone tell me what uh, Dark Knight Returns goes for. It looks like it's... Uh, probably a very fine copy. It has like a little bit of wear and a bit of a finger bend right there. But it's not too bad. That's got to be worth something. Oh, but yeah, but it's not as cool as Sean's birthday. Iron Man is just Iron Man, not Sean. Okay. Uh, hey, Ronji. Oh, that's Image. Uh, Plan the Symbiotes. That one might be worth a little bit. I feel. Uh, Marvel. Ambush Bug. I love that. It's a Spider uh, Superman 1 homage. Okay, back to the Teen Titans. I really hope there's a first uh, Nightwing in here. First Nightwing would pay for the whole box. Okay, there. Oops, I'm mixing up DC in the wrong box. Uh, uh, oh, I always forget to check the printing. Let's see. Uh, is it on the first page that sells? Says? Third printing. It's a third printing. Okay, Teen Titans. Teen Titans. Teen Titans. Okay, we got Teen Titans. 50, no, 55... New Teen Titans 5. Uh, New Titans 118. Teen Titans Spotlight on Starfire. That's a cool issue. About 35? Okay. So it's not near me. It's probably very fine. It has a couple like finger pulls, but I think it would be between 20 and 35. Uh, Teen Titans number 17. Uh, who did, uh, who did Henry Winkler voice? I'm confused. <laughs> uh, new Titans. All right, we've got a lot of Teen Titans in here, but I'm not seeing, we're not getting 44 here. Yeah, there's definitely some uh, decent books in here, Anji. i got Epic. Epic. Uh, oh, what is this? we got Adam Ka. Jutsu, number one. Fantastic Tales of the Martial Arts. What is this? Oh, this is looks like just a really old indie book. What year is it from? 79. So late 70s indie. That's really cool, actually. Very cool. Indie. Okay, there. We've got DC. DC is cool. We got DC. We got uh, Defenders. Defend Raji, are you picky on the condition in your books? Like, do you need near mint, or do you are you okay with like mid grade as long as they're not too damaged? Dazzler. That's one thing I haven't asked you yet: is what condition are you okay with? Because some people want absolutely minty books. Cloak and Dagger. Uh, oh, we got a little bag of Teen Titan. No. Oh, what is this bag? Oh, do dude. Jason, look at this. It's a Dalgoto bag from 1985. How freaking cool is that? That's like one of the coolest things in here. Oh, and then we got the mechanics on the back from Love and Rockets. Oh, that's super cool. It's an indie comic store bag from the 1980s. That is neat. I got back and board that. Uh, I love Dazzler too. Dazzler is cool. Yeah, it's a Dalgoto, and then uh, Love and Rockets Mechanics on the back. It's like a 1985 uh, indie bag. That is freaking dope. That's probably the coolest thing in here. I don't think that... that's. This is probably one of the rarest things I have in my comic collection, right? How many of these bags are left? How many of those are left in the world? Like, none. Uh, no, it's a publisher. It's an indie publisher, uh, Fantagraphics, from 1985. All right, we got uh, New Titans. See, sometimes when you buy a collection like this, you get little things. Like, I don't know what that is worth, 
But to me, it's worth, it's like priceless because I'm sure that would have gotten thrown out. You know, a lot of people would just throw stuff out like that. Uh, Tales of Teen Titans, 49. All right, we keep jumping around the 40s. Hey, Donald. Question is, will we get to um, 44? 40, oh, sect oh, look, Jason, sectors. We got a little run going right here. Sectors number seven. We got number five. Uh, we got number four. Oh, yeah. We got a whole run of these. Number three. What if Wolverine had married Miracle? Okay, we got a little bit of fun stuff in here. Ooh, Wolverine 6. Okay. Wolverine 6. I'm going to call that $5 issue, maybe. And uh, we got Wolverine 4. Uh, Wolverine 5. Oh, all right. This one's a little bit more beat up, but all these have a little bit of value. Ooh, I wonder if 8's in here. Is eight in here? No, no eight. Wolverine. Okay, we got a nice little run of Wolverine. 54. Ah, that makes me think. Did it get picked over? Because eight's missing. And no ten? I don't know. All right, we'll see. I right, got impact. Uh, S Where's SML movie? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, yeah. No, price stickers from Blockbuster? Yeah, maybe. Hey, Gunzer Yoda. Uh, bulk, I will pay 20 cents if it's all, like, really poor, um, you know, like, low-interest Marvel stuff. Or, like, this stuff. Like, this stuff. If someone brought in a box of just Image from the 90s, I... Oh, there's a Wildcats card on the back. That's kind of cool. But this thing, I probably would only pay a nickel a a comic if that's all that was in here uh coverless uh spellbound one x factor is more like i might pay 10 cents a piece if it's just uh junk oh willow willow's cool willow wolf pack number one uh speedball number one is nick fury versus shield worth anything is this a secret invasion value increase Okay, I'm going to move this forward so I can reach the box. My arm is starting to hurt. It's a puppet show? Interesting. Okay, new universe. Not really worth anything. Uh, Justice League 59. That's a fun cover. Um, Utterly Strange Stories? That See, something like this. If you have this kind of stuff in your bulk, I'm more interested. Because this just looks weird and interesting. Oh, and it's a Lisner cover, too. Yeah, so something like that is really cool. I like stuff like that. Ooh, Dark Water, number three. <laughs> uh, Legion of Superheroes, number one. I wonder if that has any value in it. Uh, Robocop, 23. Double Dragon, six. So stuff like this is a solid probably three to five dollar book. Plasma Baby, exactly. Who wouldn't want introducing Plasma Baby, the comic? Uh, is that a George Perez cover? Uh, I don't see a signature, but I feel like it is. That's a cool looking comic. Okay, X Factor 74. Badger. Uh, Exterminators. Crossroads. Okay, let's see if we can find anything else that's uh, super exciting to me. Speedball 2. Oh, Elf Lord. I do want to put Elf Lord together, but I don't want to pay more than like 20 cents each buying in bulk. Uh, I did. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was amazing. Absolutely loved it. I thought it was one of the best uh, Marvel movies in the whole of all Marvel movies. Not just those. I mean, it's definitely top on the uh, Phase 4. But overall, it's near the top. Oh, Strange Days number 1. That is cool. That's how I see like, something like this. Bulk with stuff like Strange Days number 1 from Eclipse. That's interesting to me. Like, Look how cool the artwork is inside. Like, this kind of stuff is the kind of stuff that I get excited for. But I don't want to pay a dollar for it. I want to get it in bulk like this. Porsche Prince. That's fun. Psycho Blast. I feel like I'm filling in my uh, first collection a little bit. Very cool. Uh, Zen Intergalactic Ninja. That one might have a little bit of value. Ooh, Alpha Wave number one. I think Alpha Wave is one of the comic books I made fun of. Um... Oh, the interior looks really cool, this one, though. Oh, this one looks neat. 
Okay, I'm not making fun of this one. This one's actually really cool looking. And yeah, honestly, right now, VHS is really popular. I feel like I'm selling more VHS than anything. Uh, Alpha Flight 106, that's a good issue. That's probably like a 5 to $10 issue. First uh, openly gay superhero. 103. 102. Yeah, but the rest of these are just, you know, I'd probably get like two bucks a piece. Uh, I don't know if you wrote it or not. Not sure at all. Alpha Flight. Alpha Flight. Uh, visionaries. Jason, are you collecting Visionaries yet? I feel like Visionaries is something that would be up your alley as well. Uh, Dreadstar. Yeah, is, is it worth something? I feel like it's worth something. Anyway, I gotta pull it. I put it in the pot. I should put it up top. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, it does. It has point. You know, it's got creasing here, but that's possibly pressable. It doesn't look like it's color breaking. As is, it's it's probably like a fine minus. So let me know if I find mine. So that is a book of value. I thought it was one of value. Okay, so that pays for the whole box then. Yet. Okay. So I have time to sort it out for you, Jason. I thought Sent into Galactic Ninja 1 was worth something. Willow 3. Yeah, Fury, that's sad. At least, he, you know, he was 93, though. Anyone who can get to 93, that, they, they lived a life. I hope to make it there. I invite you all guys to my 100th birthday, actually. I tell everyone, I want to make it to my 100th birthday. We're going to have a big blast. And even if you're not with us anymore, you can haunt the 100th birthday. I might be haunting it. Great. So get all these. Ah, water damage. That sucks. Water damage. Indy. Oh, Infinity Gauntlet 5. Okay, a little bit of value. Oh, first and second printing. Okay. That we're going to look. It's a first printing. First printing. Holy crap. I knew that issue had some value. Uh, dollar seventy five. Dollar seventy five. Uh, eighteen bucks. Okay, so maybe like a ten dollar book. It doesn't pay for the whole box. I'll still take it though. Namor, Marvel, Sleepwalker Nine. Uh, I haven't played the new Street Fighter yet. I do, though. Okay, Sleepwalker. Oops. Uh, not just one book. War of the Gods. Okay. Uh, there. Thank you. See, you got more tips now. Yeah, they've been selling better, and we're getting more than a dollar, so I'm going on my way to try to find a little bit more. That's good. So. Cool, That's good. We're, we're moving from Funko Pops to VHS tapes. I'm letting you know right now, <laughs> um, in the next two years, the market's going to explode. It's already exploding. It's on the edge. Like, I feel it. It's definitely on the edge of uh, people are paying stupid money for sealed ones and that kind of thing. The market's just volatile, though. I mean, yeah, yeah. Back to well, the people are selling for $75,000. For a sealed one, though. But what that's going to do is it's going to push up the cheap ones, right? People might be willing to pay $20 instead of 5 well, right. if, if a nice one is 75000 well, the, the great thing is, you know, you have people like Red Letter Media out there that are, are illustrating the absurdity of, like, over. Yeah, didn't, didn't they uh, destroy... Um, well, they destroyed all the copies of Nuki that they yeah, had. Yeah, 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 yeah. I watched they, that the other day. They auctioned their last remaining... Their, it was a sealed 8.5, I believe. The rarest... The rarest minted VHS tape they could sell for eighty five thousand. Yeah, but so that was also for charity too, so it might have been pushed a little bit. It wasn't bit. necessarily for charity. I mean, they they decided they didn't want to keep the money and give it to charity, which was very nice of them. But that was to they did it to illustrate the point, which is that like people the rarest, pay the rarest tape is an objective thing. But how much you're gonna pay for something like Back to the Future, which was overproduced? Yeah, yeah. It's like but how many are sealed? That's the thing. There might be five right. million copies it's open. It's important if it's sealed, right? Like, yeah, yeah. It could be magnetized. You may not even be able to watch it even if it was. Doesn't open. matter. It's sealed. You're not opening it. You're never watching it. No. It's it's the quality of the perfection of it. It just depends on. Too, well, that yeah, that's it what we just, just talked about. It depends how much stock you invest in grading, you know, and that was what they were kind of pointing out. And um, 
you know, like Nuki, for example, that's, that movie's not even worth $85,000. It's probably even gross $85,000. Yeah, no, it's... It was maybe a hundred dollar tape, and they own probably like ninety percent of them. Right. So they destroy. So there might be like five so left they, in the so world. They, wrecked the market. they hacked it, right? Yeah, yeah. So they call a squeeze in the yeah, stock yeah. market. So, yeah. I mean, um, it's interesting to see though uh, where the market's going to go because more people are interested in tapes and they have more nostalgic. Value. Oh, hey! Oh, my friend James is talking about Noki. He just showed me that video. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I, I like VHS tapes because VHS tapes represent a time and a place, and I. I don't know if I'd pay $85,000 for a sealed one, no. but if you have a favorite movie, if you can find a mint opened one for like 10 bucks, yeah. it's worth holding on totally. to. Totally. I, think. I yeah. feel the same way. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Look at that, James. We're talking about Nuki everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, no, I, I have people come in and spend like 100 bucks on VHS all the time now. Oh, okay. We're going to have comics falling on the floor any second. I don't think I did I miss anything of value as I'm going through these. I'm trying to sort and I'm geeking out, having a fun conversation. <laughs> uh, Marvel. Uh, we got Tiger X. Wonder what that story is about. Power line. Um, yeah, this box, I think box two is better than box one. I feel like there's a lot more value in here. The learning annex. What if Captain Marvel had not died? Avengers West Coast 47, so early white, uh, what you want to call it, white uh, vision. Jeez, my brain is going. Black Panther, those are cool. Uh, Nuki, watch uh, Red Letter Media. They have a video about Nuki where people have been um, sending them that copy of that movie for the last like five years. They did a video where they sent in their highest graded copy uh, sealed one, and then they used a wood shredder to shred the rest of the tapes. It was like a hundred tapes they shredded. And before they shredded all of them, they were going for like a hundred bucks on eBay. And then they auctioned up off the sealed one and the sealed one went for $85,000. It's ridiculous. All right, we got Guardians of Galaxy. Marvel Holiday Special. I'm really hoping we find a first Squirrel Girl in here. Oh, Warlock 5. That's cool. I like the weird indie stuff. Warlock 1? I don't know if it's worth anything, but number 1, that's cool. Okay, we're getting some fun indie stuff. Got Justice. We got uh, X-Factor 35. Uh, how much did we just sell on VHS tapes, Allison? Oh, well, what was the total of everything? 55. So it was like... Five tapes and three VHS for 50 bucks. I'm going to have to start trying to find more uh, VHS tapes for the shop because it seems to be the thing that's selling better lately. In fact... Do still have a big box in the basement? Of VHS tapes? No, I think we pulled them out for the most part. Or at least the good ones. Whatever's left is garbage. Uh, definitely having movies that are censored or modified, the older ones will be worth more. But it's still, a lot of them aren't rare. A lot of stuff, there's a lot of them out there. You know, especially if they came out in the early 2000s. Look, it's Godzilla and the uh, Extra Men. That actually looks, like, fun. I like that stuff. Oh, and the interior artwork's actually really good, too. Oh, that looks super fun. Okay, we got Scout. I do like the artwork in Scout a lot. Oh, and this one has fashion in action. Fashion in action. Let's see uh, the fashion in action pages. There we go. Fashion in action. The last time we looked at it, there was no fashion. Still no fashion, but plenty. Of, well, she looks kind of fashionable. Plenty of action, though. But uh, fashion is a little bit slow. A little bit low. Okay. Oh, Viking heroes. Okay, that one's a little salacious. Uh, American flag. Uh, Scout. Uh, if you guys notice, there's nominations for um, the comic book awards, the community awards. Uh, you don't have to nominate me. That doesn't matter. But nominate Tina for the best moderator, okay? Tina is my pick. Everyone should moder uh, pick Tina as the best moderator. She should win the award because she moderates the most channels that I know of. Uh, Solar Man Adam 1, that's cool. That actually has a little bit of value. Uh, the Wanderers, number four. 
Infinity Ink. Yeah, I'm not... We're in a little dry spell here. Not as many exciting things here. X-Mutants. Although it looks like a little run of X-Mutants. So I can fill in my run. Number seven. Number two. Uh, Vigilante, number seven. Yeah, you deserve it, Tina. Uh, Mage, number ten. New Warriors, 20. What the four? So, you know, some of this stuff is better. Two to four dollar books. Oh, okay. Score. Score. Uh, I, I think pa Tina just, mo uh, she volunteers. So I'm going to look up Planet Comics, number one. Dave Stevens artwork. This could be a hundred dollar book right here. 50 bucks at least. It looks, it has a bit of a spine roll, a little creasing, so it's, pr oh, and it's a little bit warping here, although I think that's pressable. I'm gonna call it like a fine plus copy. Fine plus copy. All right, wild cards. Oh, that's a whole graphic novel of wild cards. That's cool. Uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons 34. Wonder Woman 62. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons 36. Uh, all right, I'm not sure what the Tay's not. <laughs> Ferret, you're giving me all the information. <laughs> uh, which movie has the whole club with Popeye shakes down the customers? I'm not sure what movie that is. Oh, French Connection. Okay. I was confused. I haven't seen French Connection in forever. Yeah, Allison, have we ever watched... We didn't watch it together, did we? I think we watched it Yeah, I feel like I watched it in the early 90s, maybe. Ooh, Star Slayer number six. I need an extra Star Slayer too, because that's something Jason's looking for. And uh, I probably have lots of copies, but I don't know how much I want to get rid of at the moment, but I need to find one for Jason. Okay, there. The Ray number one. All right, Legion. All right, box two, I think, is really good. Yeah, 100. So 100 is probably a little bit better condition. This one, I'm guessing if I were to sell it, I'd probably get about 50 out of it. I could probably get pressed and get 75 out of it. So, yeah, definitely a score. I wasn't expecting anything like that. So, and that's the kind of book that saw, if this was picked, someone might leave behind because they might not know. Hey, Anthony. Anthony, so far the best two books out of this box. I got Planet Comics 1 and uh, Zen Intergalactic Ninja number 1. Not a bad box so far. Quasar. Anthony, are you going to uh, Eternal Con this weekend? Or are you just visiting it? Okay, we got some Epic. DC. Uh, DC, Dark Hawk, number 12. Uh, Jason, I don't know if I need it or not, but, um, this, in the next two weeks, I'll do a indie sort so I can figure out what I need out of that. Because if I have two, I'll, I'll give you one. All right, Justice, thank you. Uh, Starman. Defenders of Dinatron City. That looks cool. I don't think I've seen that before. What a cool looking comic book. Yeah, I like Badger. I, my set of Badger is near complete. I'm missing maybe five to ten issues out of it. Maybe less. Not 100% sure. I just know that I have a whole bunch of them. Oh, so you're going to be selling at your place. Okay. I want to try to figure out a way to start doing more convention videos. Because I had so much fun last weekend. Uh, XO Man of War 3... Uh, Solar 8. New Warriors, number 21. Starman, number 44. All right, let's see if we hit any more hits in this box. Uh, hey, Man in Black. Yeah, Jason, you got to read everything, and then you can start draining out my piles of stuff. Cyber Red. Legion. DC Impossible Man number two. Legion Superheroes 26. Uh, 
Rock the Feet, 33. Okay, the Black Hood is dead. Uh, oh, terrific. All okay, right, I haven't been to Terrific. Where is Terrific Con located? And what weekend is it? Or that's the one that's, um, is it in the Bronx? I forget. Oh, Holiday One. Oh, yeah, isn't that, is it worth something? Did I just pass it? I didn't pull that out. But that, yeah, that's the first Santa Claus uh, mutant, right? All right, Sean, thanks for the info. I have to pull that one out, actually. Excalibur, Avengers West Coast 77. Okay, final stack in this box. Avengers West Coast. Uh, Mohegan Sun. Oh. All right, I'll have to see if Anthony wants... I mean, if um, Jason wants to go. If not, I might try to tag along with you, Anthony. Oh! Toxic Avenger, Avenger number 11. Nuclear bomb cover. That's got to be worth something. Someone tell me how much Toxic Avenger 11 is. And it looks to be in decent shape. That's a cool one. We got Legion 91... Uh, more of the, what you would call it, the Hong Kong issues. Yeah, that's, I do like Starman. That's a great comp. Ooh, what the, number three with Peter Porker. Sweet. Uh, I think that one's got to be worth something. Elementals and uh, Willow, number one. Did Willow one go up a little bit because of the series? feel like it did oh you're going for the whole whole thing all right yeah i'll i'll maybe i'll see if jason wants to go or not jason do you want to go if if you're free i don't know when you're going to be in the city or not i didn't realize it was a three-day event that's crazy okay next box uh i think that box is good let me let's go through so box two we had what the oh three we had toxic avenger 11 15 bucks. Okay, that's good. We have Zen Intergalactic Ninja 1, Planet Comics 1, uh, Infinite Gauntlet 5, Alpha Flight 105, Wolverine 7, Wolverine uh, 5. 5 was kind of beat up, though. 4, uh, 6, The Dark Knight Returns, 3rd Print. All right, Jason, maybe we'll, we'll make that a weekend. I'll see if I can get press passes. We got that. We got Carnage. Uh, Batman Dark Knight Triumphant. New Teen Titans 1. And Miracle One Man 1 3D. I think for that box for 70 bucks, this is two or three hundred dollars worth of bucks. That was actually a really good box. Box two is really good. Okay. Alright, I'm excited for that. Alright, box three. This one is the one I went through. So I know everything in this box. This is the box that I um this is why I use the judge everything. So I valued it out and then did that as the overall. Yeah, I heard it got canceled. I just, I didn't know if there was any demand or if it had gotten up. So this was, uh, you know, I already pulled out the stuff of value. We'll go, go through it, but I already pulled out the stuff of value. I don't know if it's still in this box or if I moved it. So this box, uh, you know what? We'll do this box last because it's not going to be as fun. So let's do a, a box that I haven't looked at yet. Let's do a mystery box. Mystery boxes is where we want to be. We could do the boring box last. Okay, I'm going to put this over here. Oh, comics are heavy. I need to get these all into short boxes because uh, crates and long boxes are not a fun way to carry comics. Okay, put that there. You can see me haul some comics. I'm doing my... Uh, comic exercise you really build up your muscle strength by doing that okay oh it's a dc logo variant i didn't even notice that oh wow anyone anthony do you know how much more i know these are usually like five to ten dollar books how much is the dc logo one worth hello okay let's see what we got we got image Oh, am I on widescreen? Let me go back to wide. No, I am on widescreen. Okay. We got uh, Force Works. 
Okay, let me move the stack over so that we can see how good box three is. Yeah, real fast. Uh, Riptide, Rob Liefeld. Ah, like, I guess he could do a calf muscle, okay. She looks kind of cute, uh, but her feet, like, it looks like such a weird position. Okay, sorry. Reviewing Rob Liefeld's feet. At least they're there. Ooh, more Icon. Icon versus Superman, that's cool. 30 bucks, awesome. Now, Streetside has the comic radar. My comic radar is pretty good, but I know Street Sides is amazing. I just, what it was, was detail one triggered the box. I pulled it out for value, but then the detail two just escaped me because I wasn't even looking for it anymore. Got image. Okay, I don't know if this box is, maybe the long box was, yeah, I, I don't, they, they look like some kind of stumps. Oh, that one's water damage. Garbage pile. Uh, power pack. Okay, I don't know how good this box is. This box might not be as good, but we'll see. Okay, what we got here? Uh, Vortex, Supreme, okay. Uh, I'm not feeling this box. I don't see anything that really feels like older. So this might just be the one of the boxes that bombs out. But last box was like a three hundred dollar box, so they, you know, it averages out. When you buy collections like this, sometimes you get boxes that are all kind of like, eh, and then sometimes you get boxes full of. I mean, I'm not saying I like that's probably like a three to five dollar book, but I'm just saying some boxes you get are kind of weak, and then some boxes you get are amazing. That's an awesome cover, and we got more of the cool um, uh, Hong Kong comics, uh, Ninja. Ninja, The Edge. Okay, we're getting some interesting indies. Man, this is... I don't know what this is. If this was a collection, was this a guy trying to sell books? Did he just buy randomly? Like, it's so all over the place. I don't really understand what this was. Like, there's no rhyme or reason to these comics. There's, they're not together. Maybe he was just every month buying a bunch at the comic shop and then he never sorted them. Okay, I'm saying that guy has a little bit of value. But it's all over the place. Maybe this is just a buy. You know, maybe the buyer just bought stuff as it came out, read it, and then just threw it in a box and never really like collected. He was more of a consumer of comics, which would make sense. Marvel Comics presents uh, New Gods. That's fun. We got Warlock Thirty One. Oops, yeah, that's right. Justice League of America, eight. Okay, we got uh, Nova. Ultraverse. Uh, Velocity. Uh, I need to get up to the Bronx show one of these days. The only reason why I don't go to the Bronx show is a lot of the same people go to the Brooklyn Comic Invasion. So I feel like I don't want to repeat too much. I'm always looking for a new stashes of comics I haven't seen yet. Lots of really cool super indie stuff though. Image. Image. But I, you know, I'm having so much fun doing the con videos that I need to do more of those. So that show is good. Alright, I guess I have to go to the Bronx show. I gotta make it up that way. Got Malibu. Oh, more icon. Icon's cool. Image. Okay. So far, we're kind of bombing out nothing. Uh, oh, that that cool cover is cool. Barry Windsor Smith. Oops, dropping comics. Okay, nothing too exciting yet. Well, Anthony, if you're selling, oh, Street Fighter number two, number one. I bet that's worth something. Someone looked that up. Street Fighter two, number one from 1994. I have a feeling that one has a little bit of value. Captain Planet was cool. Okay, more image. Eh, image. Uh, Marvel. Okay. Sounds like a pretty busy convention. I gotta get out there. I wish more places would uh, 
sponsor just pay 200 bucks so i can get out to these things more easily not even to make a profit but just so i can get to them hey lars because i would do a convention every weekend if i could do it for free and it didn't cost anything yeah and it's a newsstand i did notice that that's gotta be worth something uh, blood feud wet works wildcats Amen. Uh, I I like this warlock. I didn't think twenty bucks. Okay, I figured that sounds about right. Uh, I didn't know if I would like him as warlock, but I like that they starting out as he's like a young innocent warlock that doesn't really have a lot of life experience. I really look forward to how they'll treat him in the movies, and you know, Guardians of the Galaxy four. Hopefully, they get a director that can make it really interesting. Okay, lots of. Uh, this box is not the kind of box that makes me excited for comics. <laughs> so far, it's been kind of like meh. The meh. Yeah, I've been to Midtown Comics a bajillion times. Quasar. Uh, and my friend Sean goes there every week. He always sends me pictures of what's new and exciting there. Yeah, the Leaning Tower alone. Oh, wait, right, we got IFS Zone. Uh, last time I saw a comic like this and I made fun of it, I lost subscribers. I don't know if I'm going to offend people, but I'm going to look. Uh, I actually kind of like it. looks like a post-apocalyptic storytelling. That actually looks kind of fun to me. Uh, that 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 kick bulge drawing is fantastic. Really got the bulge there. Uh, I'm, I'm being sarcastic if you don't get it. <laughs> I take care this is kind of fun, though. I like stuff like that. It's fun to get that, because that's something I never would have just picked up randomly. Okay, Image, West Coast Avengers. We got, uh... Oh, number three of New Midian Force. That's fun. We have a whole set of those. And, uh, Image. I like getting all kinds of weird indie stuff. Jack of Hearts. Oh, she number one. Is she one worth something? I feel like she one will be worth a little bit. Someone look that up for me. Warrior right. Steel. Okay, this box is not. We are not hitting. Uh, that's just okay. <laughs> okay, Jason. Okay, okay. It's a, uh, it's a beautiful book. It's the best ever. Siren. Uh, all right, DC. All right, this box just feels like the weaker box. This is the I overpaid for it box. But that's okay. Last box is really good. So you just need a, one or two good boxes to kind of pay for the, the myth boxes. Marvel. Um, tech World. Marvel. Marvel. Okay. Oh, we got more. We got Hardware 9. That's cool. I do like that. All the Milestone stuff is cool. We got Mantra. Uh, the Ray. I don't think I've been to Collector Cove before. All right, what do we got? Uh, water damage. Uh, more... Um, Hong Kong comics, which is cool. The flare. I don't know if I have that one. Oh, this one has a hint of water damage, but I think I'm keeping that one. It's good enough. Young blood. Elementals. Justice League. Oh, Transformers Generation 2, number one. I bet that one has a little bit of value. No, I haven't tried the Grimace Shake. It is... Is there wheat in the Grimace Shake? I think there's a reason why I couldn't have it. All right, Tyrant. Justice League. Wow, this is the boring box. Let's find something fun. Something more fun than this. Warlock. All right. Mm. Ah, I, I think the flavor is purple. <laughs> Terminator 5. I just rewatched the Terminator 
first two movies, and I still love them. I still think they're fun. Uh, West Coast Adventures 42. Uh, man, the man, last superhero. Nexus. Man, I don't... Uh, I'm guessing it's maybe grape, but it might just be purple. Like, <laughs> milkshake with purple coloring, and that's it. Okay. DC. Whisper. Oh, we got Global Force. We got to look at this one. It doesn't have gluten? Okay. It's vanilla ice cream. Uh, some kind of syrup. It's, it's syrup and vanilla ice cream, so it's purple flavor. <laughs> Global Force. Uh, uh, there's some kind of meme thing where people are dumping them on each other. Okay. Okay. Ooh, Judge Dread Twenty One. Now that's kind of cool. Not super valuable. The Blade of Shuriken. Gilgamesh. Uh, Starlight. Oh no, that's uh. Retrograde. Okay, we're hitting. Oh, Street Fighter, but not the Street Fighter. So the bad Street Fighter. Ace. This one is signed. Is it worth something? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of awful, but you know what? It's a comic. I love it. Alex Ross Terminator sounds amazing. I think I have that one, actually. Okay, we're maybe halfway through this box. Oh, Babylon 5, that's fun. Uh, babe. Whew. This box is just not feeling the value. Not feeling the value. Okay, we're going to keep going, though. We're going to see what we can find. It looks like we're uh, we're losing the crowd because it's not fun. Full image signed by someone. Honestly, it looks like Kenny Power. Kenny Power, are you here? Is this your book? Uh, no, it's Kemp Powers. Kemp Powers, okay. Okay, a super indie. Super indie book. Uh, image, image. All right, image, image. If you want to know, this is how you um, this is what you buy. You buy heaps of collections like this with a ton of junk to pull out those key issues. This is why key issues are not that easy to get for a cheap price in the city, because most people pull out the key issues and it's just piles of junk. You have to find piles of junk that still have the gold nuggets inside. And again, as I when I say junk, it's because of the resale value. I like this Jim Lee cover is awesome. I probably only get a dollar two out of it, so it's kind of like junk value wise. But I think it's awesome. Uh, Crow One does sell. I am sure of it. Probably not often. It takes a little while, but it will sell if you list it. You put it up for a reasonable price, not overprice it. Maybe not. Maybe underprice it a little bit. It will sell. I'd buy a Crow One. I'm actually on the hunt for a Crow One. But I'm looking for one in a box like this. Just a cheap O. I get it for 50 cents. Do you see? Yeah, you want me to look at it? All right. Babylon 5. I am a, a big, um, was it J. Michael Straczynski fan? Yeah, let's look at the artwork. Uh, uh, I'll give it, it's not terrible. I kind of like it, but it's not great. Kind of like it. Not great. But still, very cool book. Still cool book. Uh, Legion. Uh, Project Sex. Okay, we're not going to look at that one. I bet some of those uh, adult books definitely have value. Dr. Fate. All right, yeah, I don't think we should be looking at that one. That one's half naked. Okay, we got Warlock 2. Oh, one crow, was it Was it graded or just a raw number one, Jason? Marvel, Marvel, Marvel. I kind of want, I think they're talking about doing like a Babylon 5 reboot. I would watch that. I would actually be interested in that. Oh, Lady Death, the foil. I think I saw one of these for like 10 bucks. Maybe five bucks. I think that one actually has some value. I'll pull that out. Rise of Apocalypse, a little bit of value. Mantra. Okay, come on, value. Come on, rare books. Not that I don't love all this stuff, but I'm looking for that stuff that would be hard to get normally. Uh, 
this one feels a little warped. I think I'm going to toss that one. Yeah, Crow One is definitely... Oh, this feels like an older book. What is this? Old... Oh, okay. This one is... Um, what I like about these is just the water coloring inside. I really like the art on these. The Hong Kong comics. I think they just look amazing to me. So these I used to pick up for a dollar or dollar bids. But now I just kind of wait to get them in collections like this. But always thrilled to see a whole bunch. Oh, Strike Force Moratorium number 27. It would be super funny if I found 19 right now. After Jason finally found it. After like three months. Uh, more of these um, you know, Hong Kong comics. Like, look how cool the artwork looks inside on these things. I think they're awesome. I, uh, Babylon 5, I never really got into, but I do really like J. Michael Straczynski, and I absolutely love Jeremiah. Jeremiah is one of my all-time favorite shows. I just, you know what was, I think Babylon 5, the effects were just so weak for me. It was a hard, I had a hard time getting into it. And it was a little bit dialogue heavy. Sisters of Mercy. That looks like a fun cover. Supreme Image. Supreme Image. Hello. Supreme. We have uh, Zen Intergalactic Ninja 2, but this one's water damaged. Ugh, that's a shame. That's a book with probably a little bit of value. Uh, more Milestone. Uh, Walter Simonson cover. That's actually really cool. DC. I got uh, Image. Image, Image. Yeah, I thought I heard that they were doing a reboot. I kind of want to see the reboot. Milestone. Uh, FM Force. Wow, this, this box is kind of tearing me out because I'm not seeing. Oh, Dino Riders. That's maybe something Jason wants. Oh, hey, Reed. Oh, he wrote those Hong Kong comics. Oh, that's cool, Lars. I like them. I've been collecting them for years. One of these days, I will actually read them. But I absolutely love the artwork in them. I think it's so cool. Malibu. All right. And this box is kind of wearing me out, though, because it's nothing, like, super exciting value-wise. But I'm still having fun, and there's still a lot of stuff in here I'm happy to have picked up. So it's not a... To me, it wasn't a bad deal on this box. Alpha Flight. But I do like when I buy a collection, I do like kind of hitting a few more expensive books. Just, oh, this one's signed too. Same artist as that other one. I do like hitting a few expensive books just so that I um, I have the chance to add more expensive stuff to my collection without spending a lot for that issue. I still spend, you know, you spend a lot buying a lot of books, but I like getting the big books for cheap. Uh, Starman. Ray. Yeah, they're they're shopping. <laughs> we are open right now. I just want I decided to do this while we're open, just so I can get it out of the way, because the store is so cluttered with comics right now. I need to. I have three, six, eight long boxes. The price they're ready to go, and then um. Oh, you have Dino Riders. Yeah, I knew you would probably have that or be interested. Oh, th okay, this is dope. Demolition Man number four. Uh, I'm gonna put that out. I don't know if it has value, but that's something like I'm thrilled to get because that's one of my all-time favorite movies. Oh, Indiana Jones. I don't know. I didn't even watch the last one. Doctor Fate one. Steve Walker eleven. Oh, more milestone. Oh, this one's signed. Who is this signed by? It's signed there and it's signed right there. That's cool. Double signed. Dreadstar, Malibu. Ooh, Hardware 1. Okay. We got some value. Finally, we found something. 
Hardware One, double signed. Someone looked that up. What is Hardware One selling for these days? And does it look like there's anyone signed? And it is a newsstand. So I'm not, that could be a, uh, a book of value. Like, I mean, by itself it has value, but being signed. Oh, this one's signed too. Okay, we got a few signed books. I'm going to pull those out. Actually, I'm going to pull this one out too. I think those signed books all have a bit of value. Okay. Hey, Lord Pluto. Uh, Lost Dogs. Image. Right, Star Lord 1. Okay, I want to hit something really awesome, like dart number one. <laughs> I need all right, that? old comic news. That's kind of interesting. All right, Malibu. I think we have almost as much indie stuff as DC stuff, which is kind of crazy. Uh, Quasar 56. That's my whole uh, beat. Like that box there is all Beatles and um, post Beatles. Uh, no, the band is mixed in there by mistake. The Beatles Christmas album. Something is new. Like that whole box is all Beatles and solo projects. Starblade. Uh, with, when you sell records, you got to have Beatles records, basically. So three to five new stand. Add a signature, it might be 10 bucks. Depending on how cool the signature is. I'm assuming it was two signatures, so it's probably writer slash artist. Uh, Stormwatch. Okay, this box has been a, uh, I don't know. This box is not as exciting. That last box was so much nicer. We hit some major hits. And this box is like, eh, eh. Yeah, it's like that image, task force, dollar bin food, basically. Not that it's going my dollar bin, because a lot of the stuff I will be keeping if I don't own it. But if I was thinking in the sense of I'm buying these to sell, all the stuff most likely would head to the dollar bin. Okay, let's see here. We got, oh, Nexus, that's fun. We got Boris. Oh, uh, we got uh, Black Belt Hamsters, book two. That's actually really cool. More image and more Marvel. All right, we almost have one full Marvel box. Uh, I should, except I'd be demonetized. And and uh, I don't want to be demonetized because I like to make a little bit of money on my channel so it helps pay for more channel stuff because doing videos is expensive. It's by the time you pay for all the different things you have to pay for. It's like, I'm lucky to break even each month. Quasar, image. So, I do like to have a little bit of monetization so that I can pay for all the gear I got to pay for, transportation, editing. Not that I... Uh, pay anyone to edit but when i edited a video like the video this past weekend i spent eight hours editing so it was a 150 200 dollars of my own labor okay we got dragon lance but i love doing this stuff so much that's why i'm willing to do it got uh dungeons and dragons alpha flight he they told me that all their x-men stuff got water damaged out that really really got me upset like, that would have been awesome if there was a big crate full of 80s X-Men stuff. Image, image. Uh, Shazam. Oh, Buck stops here? Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that you enjoy the videos. I love making... The, doing these live streams where I just show a whole bunch of comic books is so fun for me. Uh, Sabretooth. I think it's just fun to be able to dig through piles of comics for hours on end. Because this is what I like to do. So I know other people probably enjoy just watching a whole bunch of comics. And this is just like a standard day when you buy a big pile of comic books. This is what you do. You sort through them. Bat Thing. Ultra Girl. Hey, Will. This was a, um, a young couple came in. They said that they had inherited a whole bunch of comic books from, I believe... 
it was an aunt who had a whole bunch of stuff from her brother. So it was like her aunt, um, their aunt and uncle's comics. Dark Claw One. Is this one worth anything? And so, um, I asked them what they want. I like honestly, I kind of like I ask these days because if people don't know what they want, it makes it a lot harder. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time. They said probably about a hundred dollars a box. So I knew they were reasonable. So I went through them and I said, you know what? Let me go through one box. I told them I did YouTube videos and I like to do like mystery boxes. I said, let me value out one box. So that's what I did. I valued out one box. I pulled out a handful that I would pay $30 for. And then the rest of the box, I said about 20 cents a piece. So another 40 bucks. So I offered them $70 a box. And um, so that's four ninety because there's seven boxes. And they said, how about $80 a box? I said, how about we just rounded the 500? They said, that was good. So I bought seven boxes, about 1,500 comics for 500 bucks. And uh, we're just going through them now. They're kind of mystery because I kind of wanted it to be a bit of a mystery because I kind of wanted to see what's in here. Uh, I mean, I should. I have a lot of knowledge to share. I haven't seen... Oh, uh, Cat... Yeah, I, I love Casper. Casper is great. Uh, I don't hate Yoko Ono, but I don't really like the Yoko Ono music stuff that much. Uh, Forbidden Kingdom, another um, Hong Kong comic. Oh, this looks really cool. The line work is amazing on this. Like, look how gorgeous this is. Very cool comic. I love stuff like that is why I love buying collections like this. I like getting a whole bunch of... Oh, yeah, another one. I love getting fun indie stuff like this that I just don't see normally or I might have to pay a dollar. Yeah, no, Jason, I just never really got into her, but I know some people do really like... I mean, because she's more of the experimental side, and that's... Uh, they, it cha You know, the Beatles chained up a lot. That's why the White Album became the White Album. Um, but yeah, no, I like her. I, I She's interesting. I just never really got into her. Like, I'm more like... Um, the solo project, I like Some Wings. I love the George Harrison solo project stuff. Uh, oh, okay, we have another Mar Okay, we got another book, a little bit of value. Uh, we got the Magicians. Super Indie had a quarter Forbidden Planet sticker on that. I wonder if that was when it was new or they just had a quarter bin at some point. Uh, Alpha Flight, Image, Image. Okay, our Marvel box is almost full. Hello. Howdy. Uh, yeah, Howard Chacken. Uh, we got a lot Bush native signed by that Kemp Power again. Interesting. They have a whole bunch of those. That sounds awesome, Jason. I'll have to look for some of their live concerts. Check it out. See how awesome it is. Uh, oh, more Milestone. Milestone is cool. When it comes to music, everyone has their own interest and taste in music. So for me, it's really hard to recommend music or say what's good or what's not good. Because what one person loves, one person hates. And it's, for me, I always find music is the one thing that I don't like to form opinions on. I know what I love, and I alone love what I love. I'm sure other people enjoy some of what I love, but not all of what I love. Uh, it's, it's, the kind of stuff is available all over New York City. So it's not a steal in the sense that it's available here. Where you are, it's probably a steal if it's not available. But yeah, they, um... They brought him the comic station, and uh, Tommy wasn't there today, so he could make a purchase. Dylan said it'd probably be about forty dollars a box. That was their general offer. Uh, I didn't know that though. They told Allison that, but they didn't tell me that, so I had not oh, known. Yeah. So seventy dollars a box was what I offered. Yeah. And I'm happy with it. I think it's pretty good. Oh, Captain Adam, twenty three. Uh, White Heat. That actually looks really cool. I like that cover. 
Yeah, that looks super dope. Uh, first badger. I'm trying to keep up with all, all this. You guys are having a big old conversation here. I'm trying to keep up with it. <laughs> uh, that would be cool with uh, Sonic Youth and Yolo Tango. That sounds actually really awesome. The Black Book by Comico. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is just a thing that's talking about all the stuff that was coming out. Oh, I like that cover. Oh, this is kind of a fun little information reference book. No, 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 I'm not, I didn't take it. I'm saying is it's, oh, Planet Comics number two. That's cool. It's relative. Like in some places, $500 would definitely be a, a steal. Uh, in New York City, I probably overpaid a little bit. Just because there's so many comics around that's easy. Like literally I bought, you know, at $20 a long box two weekends ago, I bought uh, 26 long boxes. And it's a lot of the same, like, this kind of stuff. Really weird indie stuff. So it really depends. Like, I paid more because I, I knew there was a chance to have a few key issues. And the key issues were the difference. If there was no key issues, I would have paid 100 bucks for all of these. So it's not really the quantity of comic books. It's the, the quality of what's in the quantity. So I kind of bought these both for quantity and quality. I did see there was a little bit of quality still in here. So that's why I was... Willing to pay. Oh, that's fine. I haven't seen this before. It's a Chrome Sabretooth comic. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. That's neat. I actually had not seen that before. Yeah, I... For me, music, it changes. And sometimes I'm just not even in the mood for music, which is oddly strange, because I love music. And I've always had... Music, like, when I was in college, I went to college to open up a record store. I basically wanted to open up a record store. That's why I wrote business plans for a record store. I tried to go to NYU's uh, business division, but I mean, a uh, music division, but uh, I had to know music for that. So I had to drop out of those classes, but I still took um, all the business courses there. Uh, keys. Okay, I'll show. Let me. I'm almost done. I have just a handful. Let's finish this crate. Ooh, Captain Power. That's cool. Uh, Captain Paragon. This is so. This box was very weak. There was barely anything of value in it. So $70 feels like I overpaid, but not really. But out of this box, let's see what we, I would have paid for the better ones. So out of this box, we got that. I would have paid probably like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 16, 18, 20, 25, 30 bucks. I wrote really, Yeah, you know what? I, $70 is okay for that crate. Because I have, I would have paid 20 to 30 for that stack of better stuff. And then, uh, one of the, my favorite things I got so far was this Fantagraphic bag from the 80s. That's just something you would no, not see. And then, uh, the first we got, so far we got a Darkhawk 1, Transformer 78. Turtles 2, uh, Static 1, uh, Mortal Kombat 2, Gargoyles, I think 8, uh, Bruce Lee. That was that pile. That was the first box, which was okay. Again, not great, but not terrible. And then I moved... Oh, I mixed these up. Okay, and then uh, box 2. This is one of the better ones. We have the... Um, DC versus Marvel, DC Universe label. That's, uh, I think someone said it was just like 30 bucks. Miracle Man 1 3D. Uh, Teen Titans 1. Batman Dark Knight Triumphant. Uh, Carnage. It's a Wonderful Life 1. That's probably like a $20 book. Batman The Dark Knight Returns. Third print. Wolverine 6. Wolverine 4. Wolverine 5. Wolverine 7. Alpha Flight 106. Uh, Infin Infinity Gauntlet 6. Planet Comics 1, that's probably the most expensive so far. That's like a $50 to $100 comic. Zen Intergalactic Ninja 1 and Toxic Avenger 11. And then I think there's one other little stack of better stuff. Uh, or maybe not. But yeah, so far pretty good. So good so far. Okay.
Yeah, no, Buck Stops here. I like a very wide range of music myself. There's never, like, one specific genre that, like, one day I might like some metal. So now I'm like, nah, I'm too old for metal. Sometimes I like a good, like, like Dolly Parton I can enjoy. I think she's kind of fun. Sometimes I like, you know, stuff I loved in the 90s. You know, Rage Against the Machine and Red Hot Chili Pepper. You know, it really just depends on uh, the mood I'm in. Music is really mood dependent, I think. Okay, let's do another mystery. Great. Okay. Next mystery crate. Move these around. Okay, let's see which way are these going. I think this is the way they're going. Okay. All right. And these are heavy. Hello. Okay. I think we got four more. We've got a lot more boxes to go through. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy a very long live stream. Very long live stream today. We're already at two hours. Holy crap. We're probably going to go for like four. Okay. Here we go. Uh, oh, these are backwards. All right, we're going to go backwards. Okay, well, no, backwards and forwards. Okay, boof, boof, image. Oh, let me move the stacks over so we can see how well this box is. Basically, when I did the test box, I did one handful that I thought I'd pay 30 bucks for. Then I did the rest at 20 cents a piece, so $70 a box. That's what I'm kind of aiming for. Like, one box I'd pay $30 for, and then, uh, uh, star brand. So we're just looking for, like, a, about $30 of what I would pay, like, the wholesale price. Oh, Supergirl one, that's kind of cool. I just find when I listen to metal, I start getting a little depressed lately. So I just don't like listening to metal too much. I like more like soulful music, I think. Yeah, Jason, I'm happy you're enjoying it. I know you'd come to dig through here 30 minutes and hard labor to do the right thing. <laughs> uh, Blue Devil. But don't get me wrong. I still love a good rocking song. I still love to put on just something that's heavy occasionally. Zen Intergalactic Ninja 1. Uh, someone look if the Star Quest 1 is worth something. I feel like that would be worth a little bit. Oh, Numidian Force number 5. I'm going to have a whole run of these. <laughs> Working on a run. Uh, Icon 1. That's cool. That probably has a little bit of value. Okay, I'm actually enjoying this crate a bit more than the last one, I think, so far. So I have higher hopes for this one. Need more? I feel like it's a little bit less junky. Uh, more icon. Uh, my average, like when I go to the analytics, my average viewer is between 35 and 50, I think. But there's a good chunk, 50 to 65. So I think there's a lot of, you think you're old. I think we're all around within 20 years, same age for the most part. With some youngins. Hey, Nicholas. Warlock. Uh, Doom Force, number one. All right, my, I'm going to switch out the Marvel box. It is full. What Brain transplant on 40. What's that? Which one is that? Did I miss a $40 book? I'm confused. Yeah, no, Namor is cool. I like Namor. I just, I don't think it's, again, it, I'm... When I say something's junky or I'm going by the value, the actual content value is not low on this stuff. I love it. That's why I'm buying it. It's, I just, I'm calling it, I'm looking for value for the money I paid, but I'm also looking to fill in my collection. Okay. Oh, we got a Doom Force. DC. Fem Force. Thank you, Farron. No, I have a, I have so many. Jason's seen a lot of my comics. I have a massive amount of comics in my collection, which I eventually would like to have the space to start just doing like collection tours and whatnot. I would love to just show more comics to everybody. I would love to just do a, a one or two hour live stream every day. Oh, 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 the ad on the back of the Namor. Oh, interesting. I didn't catch that. Only 40 bucks. Yeah, I don't want a new brain because that's someone else gets to enjoy my body. 
I guess you can transplant my my brain into a a nice youthful young healthy body I guess uh there the uh, let's see we have the epic series I believe yeah uh, well that's is Marvel but I think epic and then Marvel Dread Star is so confusing and then there's also the first ones I have a little bit of all no, what are you looking for? iPhone charger. Uh, just the wire, basically. Um, if you go one block that way and turn to the left two blocks, there's a CBS. All right, okay, you're welcome. Hey, Tom. Uh, I think 70, it's probably like 5%. So right now, if there's 87, 88 people, there's probably about four people. Statistically, there's four people in their 70s watching right now. Because you know what? We all love comics. Comics is universal for many ages. Younger people, not so much. But you know what? Young people do... Uh, oh, epic numbers. Uh, epic is number 20, I think. Jason, we, I can work on Dread Star soon if you're looking to fill in your collection. Oh, hey, Ryan. How are you? Okay, we got... Uh, Suburban Jersey Ninja She-Devils. Fantastic comic book. All right, Aliens vs. Predator. Gotta pull that out. Ryan, I'm just going through a, a massive pile of junk. <laughs> Looking for gems in the rough. But it's all stuff I, I like as well. So, Oh, okay. We got more Marvel vs. DC. Okay. Another $5, $10 book. We got Storm number two. Foil. We got Nightman and Gambit. That one might have a little bit of value. We got Cyberpunk. Okay. I don't know. I have higher hopes for this box. So far, I'm liking the general mix of stuff. Oh, we got, um, what was it? Medieval Spawn Witchblade. That's cool. That probably has a little bit of value. Nomad 1. No, no. Young, young people buy comics. They buy manga. Young people love manga. Manga sells really well. They just don't want American comics anymore. They want more um, action-based image drawn, you know, where the imagery pushes the storyline and not so much the um you know the text uh this one that one's on the edge of being tossed okay okay let's find some treasure in here we need to find treasure okay we got image we got cyclops this one's a little bit funky as in the condition not the um not the actual content we got Liberty Project. Uh, I love man. Honestly, I'm more likely to read a manga than I am an American comic, just because I love storytelling through the drawing more than I do through the the text. I like you know just really good um, story based on how the image drives the story. I think you're. Uh, that's a milestone I haven't seen before. The World Needs Heroes, number two. That's a really cool-looking cover. I'm looking, you know, I like finding stuff I haven't seen before, too. Uh, it depends on the youngster. If you get into the things they get into, they, sure, if you want to talk Pokemon, youngsters will talk your ear off. I've had youngsters talk to me for 30 minutes straight. More than I want to hear. <laughs> Don't talk to you. And you're like, oh... Oh, you want to see a cool Charizard? Boom, all of a sudden, you got your ear, like, removed from your head. Just youngsters want to talk. you got to find youngsters are into the movies and the shows, and then you can talk comic books with them, because maybe they don't know about it. Anime is great, too. I love anime, but no, don't fuck manga. Manga is the way better version of anime, because it usually fleshes out the story and tells way more of the story. When you watch the anime, they cut corners, and you don't get as much of the story. Uh, so I like both. One of my favorite things to do, if you watch a really good anime, then you read the manga and it'll like flesh out the story and it'll be even better. Hello. Hello. Uh, okay, I got, oh, dropping comments. I didn't watch the Flash movie, so I'm going to hold judgment until I actually see it, but I'm not going to pay for it. I'm going to watch... Uh, no, I know. I, I buy Pokemon comics when I see them cheap because I think they're a great 
um, investment. I think Pokemon comics will have value in the future. So anytime I see them from like the early uh, 2000s, late 90s, I pick them up. Dark Man. I don't know if I ever actually saw Dark Man. I feel like now. And the question is: Is Nightman the comic good? Uh, yeah, Astro Boy is awesome. I am a huge Osama Tezuka fan. I buy all. I love reading his comics. Those are actually some of my favorites to read because they're just so salacious, action-packed, crazy cliffhanger. Oh, Headmasters too. Okay. Here we go. We probably have like a five, eight dollar comic right here. Yeah, two seconds. <laughs> exactly. Uh, my value I'm getting right now is having a fun live stream with you guys. That's why I bought this collection more than if I actually get any value out of the boxes. The main reason I love buying stuff, that's garbage. The main reason why I love buying stuff like this is just so I can hang out with you guys and show you guys a whole bunch of comics for like two to four hours. Okay, I don't know if I'm uh, 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 image. Oh, there you are. You disappeared for an hour. You. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh, yeah, I love the uh, Walt Kelly artwork. Pogo is cool. I think my Pogo set is near complete. I have to actually put them together. Yeah, I like just buying comics to show you guys, have a fun time. I need to just get more of my collection organized and spend more time showing my collection as well. But yeah, if I could show comics and do comics daily, I would be a thrilled person. That's a shame. Bad shape, but awesome comic. Oh, man. Bad condition, though. Bad condition. Mm. Okay, ah, this box is getting floppy. I don't know... Do you think I'm going to pull out any value out of this box? I feel like this box has been, uh... uh well, I, I mean, I haven't read Is it garbage because the story sucks? Or is it garbage because it's worthless? Like, there's a, there could be a difference. Marvel fanfare. That's cool. Firestorm. That sounds like fun, Nicholas. I wish I had a budget to uh, travel around to visit more comic things all over the place. Oh, this one looks really cool. Yeah. Four comics. Were they graphic novels? No, I haven't seen Mike Spider Slayer from Comic Book Corner. I have not seen that. All right, let's look at this issue. Oh, yeah, the interiors are fun, too. Nice watercolor. Like, this is... Someone put some effort into this book. I don't know how good the story is, but the artwork is fun and the coloring is fantastic. See, I love buying schlocky piles of comics to pick up gems like this. Because this isn't something that was on my radar or anyone's radar. But it looks amazing. Love it. Right, new Warriors. Night Stalkers. Oh, I do like uh, Richard Corbin's Den. I really like the interiors of these. I think they look cool. Like, they're just airbrushed, fun-looking artwork. Yeah, those are super cool. Love those. That's something I would pick up for a buck or two. But it's even better getting them into a big collection like this. Okay, we got Martial Law. This one has also got a really fun interior. Yeah, I love the artwork on this series. This is a series I was picking up back, like, 20 years ago out of 50 cent bins. So that's cool. All right, new Wednesday. Okay. Uh, soft cover. All right, Mark, that sounds cool. Yeah, just being able to read them. Honestly, being able to read any of this stuff is where you'll get the greatest value out of it. There, I always say there's two different types of values in common. There's the kind of value of you preserve it and you try to wait for it to go up in value in the future that gains value or you preserve its value. But there's also the value that you get from just doing this, opening it up, reading the words, looking at the artwork. There's a value to that as well. So how do you measure that value, right? That's a lot of things. A lot of people keep stuff that never goes up in value, but they think it might, so they never actually enjoy what they have. And just being able to flip through a comic like this, there's a value to that. So that's a life value. This is different. There's life value, and then there's 
uh, monetary value. And monetary value is just a preservation of life value, right? You pay a certain amount of money to buy something so that you can enjoy the life value of having that thing. So the question is, how much do you want to pay for that life value? And do you want to preserve the life... Do you want to preserve the future potential value for someone else and you don't get the life value out of it? You know, you keep... You buy a graded comic book, but you never get to read it. But will someone else get to read it down the road? That's that's a different kind. So I, now th- I know some people are like, well, don't buy slabs because they're all about reading it. I like slabs because I enjoy high-grade copies, like rare, untouched versions of comics. But if you want to read it, you can buy a low-grade one for cheap. You can get both values. You just buy it twice. Right? You don't have to destroy the rare one to get the value you can get out of the uh, cheap one. Right, my little try. Oh, Ninja Turtles. Uh, that one's probably 3 to $5. A little bit of value. Not super high value, but still cool. Uh, the Sector Knots. Is this another copy of that book? Sector Knot. I'm going to have a whole run of Sector Knots. Oh, more Milestone. Milestone's cool. Very cool. Those. I, uh... All right, got DC. I'm going to have a whole run of those. <laughs> That's crazy. DC. We got, uh... That. Okay. So far, we haven't hit anything, like, super valuable out of these, I don't think... DC, Megalith. Is there a section you want to get into? DC. We got a new man. Okay. Uh, Ebony Warrior. That's a second uh, image. Thank you. I take care. Okay, let's flip these. Ooh, okay, we got apple seed. That's cool. Now that's something that I really enjoy. I love 80s anime stuff. I don't know if it's super valuable, but that is really cool to me. And the music playing outside in the car, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 rating. Ooh, Transformers 42. Okay, I'm gonna call that maybe like a fight dollar book. Uh, awesome Alpha Flight Wolverine cover, love that. Uh, uh, Judge Dredd in the future, maybe. We might have a, a world of actual people judging you on the spot and deciding if you need to be executed based on your criminal history because crime gets so bad. I could see that. Uh, more of the... Oh, this one is torn up, though. I do love these, though. I think they're cool. Oh, cool, Jason. Yeah, no, the apple seed is super cool. DC. Okay, I feel like this crate is, like, boring. <laughs> I'm trying to find that one or two books. That really makes me jump. Oh, wow. Amazing steel. Really, really would like that. But so far, just a lot of run filler and probably run filler that I own already. So not that exciting for me. So Oh, Lady Death. Though. We got some Lady Death coming up, which is always good. Lady Death is a solid 3 to $5 book. Maybe a little bit more. Got Witchblade 7. Marvel. Okay, let's flip another stack. Uh, ooh, I see a Thundercats. Okay, Ultraman. Uh, was it, I think there was an ice cream truck. Oh, I could use some ice cream right now. Oh, okay. Uh, this one has a little chew on the edge, though. Otherwise, I'd call that like a five to ten dollar book. Okay, Micronauts. Uh, I never actually saw Steel. Is Steel any good? I have never heard a good thing about it. Uh, Flare. So I, uh, I don't. If you ask me if I've seen a movie, only ask me if it's an actual good movie. <laughs> <laughs> I just I think it's funny when people are like, uh, I don't know. have you seen the movie? Uh, I don't know, Sky People. I didn't like that movie at all. Just saying, have you seen it? Forever People. That's cool. Got Forever People. Have you seen Allison? What's a movie we watched we thought was terrible? Sky Captain. 
Yeah, Sky Captain is the one that... Yeah, no, Thundercats would have... Uh, but it has animal, like a rodent or something, chewed on the edge. So right right on this edge, someone decided to have a nibble all along it. Because of that, it's probably like a dollar bin book now. Oh, and that one that we tried to watch where it was like... I think I'm going to tell him or something. Oh, I don't... Oh, yeah, I forgot. That, that one I couldn't... Um, what was the movie we watched where it was like a Thanksgiving that uh, it was just like it was, I couldn't handle it. It was very dialogue heavy. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Yeah, they just got the rights. I think they're putting out a big ROM omnibus. I'm not sure about the Micronauts, but I'm pretty sure there's a big ROM omnibus coming out. Which I might, I, even though I have all the issues, I kind of think I might get the omnibus just to read it. Uh, ooh, 28, 18. Okay, that's cool. Always good to see that. At least there's a lot of milestone in this collection. There is quite a bit of, like, water damage that's piling up. That I'm kind of throwing in the damage by The humans? Yeah, the humans. Have you guys seen the movie The Humans? It was, it was awful. I, 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 I had to try. I, I started complaining halfway through the movie. I was really annoying Allison. And then finally I was like, we got to turn this off. Because I'm going to punch myself in the face if we keep watching it. <laughs> yeah, but this it has, good in it. it has great people in it. I thought it'd be great, but with this chew, I don't know if anyone would pay twenty dollars for that with the chew. Maybe I'll get five dollars out of it, but yeah, it just it's the kind of damage that is kind of gross because a rodent chewed on it. Otherwise, I would say it's a twenty dollar issue if it was without that, even if it was just a very fine copy. Okay, all right. Let's see. Oh, the other one was I'm thinking of ending things. Oh yeah, I'm thinking of ending things. I had to shut that one off. I couldn't watch it. Uh so uh has anyone seen I'm thinking of ending things? Did anyone actually like that movie? I mean it could have been a good movie. I just Charlie Coffin. Yeah, it's a Charlie Coffin movie. I thought it'd be really good. And I um I couldn't finish it. I just I just it was No, The Humans. The Humans. It was like an indie film. Uh, Amy Schumer, Stephen Yoon. Amy Schumer, Stephen Yoon. That was the one with the Thanksgiving. Beanie Feldstein. Beanie Feldstein. And it was just like, every scene would be like, they would be all the way at the end in the kitchen. You'd be down the hallway and in another room and you're just looking here like this and it's cropped and they would be all the way down at the end of the kitchen and it would be 10 minutes of them having like the worst Thanksgiving conversation that you don't want to listen to. The kind of conversations that I just don't enjoy. Small talk, the movie. It <laughs> It was it was god awful. I could not stand it. So you like that think of ending it? Yeah, I I couldn't get through it. I just the dialogue was just not doing it for me. I might have to try to watch it again. But uh I know I love Charlie Coffin movies. I love how weird and strange they are, but th this one was just it wasn't even it was just like the dialogue was just getting to me or something. Yeah. Or maybe I just wasn't in the mood for it. You really have to be in the mood for his stuff. Well, uh, new Nicolas uh, Cage. Which movie was the Nicolas Cage? I like the one... I, I did enjoy the one where he um, played himself and with um, Pedro Pascal. I actually really liked that one. That one was fun for me. Oh, the vampire. Oh, I really want... I love the idea of the vampire one. I really want to see that one. My Dinner with Andre. I don't think I actually ever saw that one. See, the way my brain works, I'm not really good at processing lots of dialogue where a movie is about two people sitting in a room for 10 minutes talking and then it's another room with two people talking for 10 minutes. I, my brain does not work very well doing that. So I can't really watch a movie like that because it really drives me crazy. I need a, a movie where something's happening. Adaptation was good. I really loved Adaptation. I thought that was a fantastic movie. I loved... Um, yeah, Renfield. I really want to see Renfield. Oh, I do... I kind of... Is this the... No, this is the first series. I like the artwork in these. The second series, though, has really good artwork. But, yeah. I like the way these ones look. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, Count Chicken, I don't think I've seen... Oh, Red Sonia, that's always fun. 
Uh, Aubrey Plaza's great. She was awesome in um, Legion. Legion was a show I absolutely loved every second of. I kind of wish it hadn't ended. I would like another season of it. <laughs> I have not seen that movie in a long time, Buck Stops. I think it's been 30 years since I've seen it. I need to go back and watch a lot of classics. There's just so much coming out right now that I barely have enough time and energy to watch the new stuff, let alone things that I love that I've already seen from years ago. What did we watch? Megan. Oh, we watched the Megan. I actually really liked Megan. I didn't think I would like it as much. As, like, I thought I might be interested in it, but I liked the story. It wasn't just, like, a horror movie, but I really liked the story of it. Megan was a lot of fun for me. Yeah, well, Allison predicted the ending. It was very, 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 like, you knew what was going to happen. But I still, I enjoyed the journey of Megan. Megan was fun. And I still, even though she goes a little psycho, I kind of still want a Megan. Hopefully she really likes to sort comic books, because that's what I would have her do all day. <laughs> but you better not fuck with my comics, because she might start murdering people <laughs> to protect them. <laughs> oh, Megan was good. I liked it. I need, I need to see good uh, movies. I want... Like, I feel like there's so much coming out right now, and a lot of it is, like, okay. That 10 years ago, I would have thought it was amazing, but today I'm, like, my standards are higher because there's so much to watch that, like, you don't have to watch everything anymore. Or you can't watch anything anymore. The Oh, I haven't seen this milestone. Uh, my name is Holocaust. I actually haven't seen that one. Uh, yeah, the Megan robot. The actress played the Megan robot could dance. I love the scene when she starts dancing with the... Uh, um, the CEO. I don't want to spoil the movie though, you guys. You should watch it. If you haven't watched it, Megan was a lot of fun. It's like a it's a horror movie, but not really a horror movie. It's more of just a technology like Black Mirror type storytelling. Yeah, no, she'd be able to take a comic and paper cut you really badly. I think. <laughs> Allison doesn't like paper cuts. That's a car fear. Uh, Control the Story of Joy Division. I haven't heard of that one. I'll have to check that out. Oh, that's water damage. The water damage ones make me sad. Okay, this box is not turning into anything too exciting either. I feel like you went through the wrong box. Uh, what, when I was calculating the value? Well, no, you know what was the last box? I calculated about $20 where I'd pay, so I think I did calculate it pretty well. Because there's enough stuff like this that I'm actually pretty happy to have. Yeah, that one is gorgeous. I really need to put those together. See what I still need? Because I kind of want to read the whole thing. Catwoman. Oh, there's some cards in there. Uh, it's a... That's, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, image. Gen 13. Newman. If you guys enjoy these movie talks and just nerdy talks while I'm going through comic books, that's pretty much what I end up doing on the Walk channel. So if you, oh, we got another Mortal Kombat. All right, someone look that up. Mortal Kombat, Raiden and Kane, Kano number two. I bet that's a five to ten dollar book. I feel like that's a more valuable one. Um, yes, the menu was fantastic. I'm a huge fan of um, what's her name from the Gan the Queen's Gambit, Anna Taylor Joy. Big fan of hers. So I really enjoyed the menu. I thought the menu was fantastic. That's the kind of thriller I like because it wasn't really a horror. It was more thriller than horror. And I like that. I think it's... I want to be more thrilled than grossed out. All right. Uh, what is this? Marvel Age 124. Uh, Spirits of Vengeance. Man, I'm not hitting any... I'm hoping for like one or two more expensive books i have no idea if someone actually picked value out of this or not it's so random that it's just hard to tell it's not like it's all in order and then i see one or two missing do you see all right malibu justice league White noise. Did we watch White Noise? What was White Noise? Jason, what was White Noise again? Is that the one with um, Adam Driver? Was that White Noise? Oh, was that with the, with the train? 
With the train that derails, was that white noise? That one was weird, but good. Uh, see you, Ranji. Because if that was white noise, I yeah. really, really... Yeah, so I loved White Noise. White Noise was fantastic with Adam Driver. It was, like, weird, but in a fun, good way that made sense, kind of. Like, I loved when he was doing the lecture on Hitler. <laughs> He's having, like, the debate. <laughs> like, it's, like, ridiculous. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Trying to keep up with all the conversation. I think I'm missing some. Okay, wrong. Yeah, what, White Noise only got a 5.7? Yeah, the, 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 I'm thinking of, of ending it is a 6.6. Yeah, it's not, it, it was like, yeah, I could see that. 6.6 <laughs> is like a movie that's decent, not the best. No, but that's the coffin movie. No, that's what I'm saying. 6.6 would, would mean that it would, wasn't like super great, but it wasn't yeah, terrible. It's, it's worse but White Noise, I liked it. should have been like a 7 or 8, honestly. I thought it was really fun. Uh oh, do you do you still need a rom, Jason? We got rom uh fifty seven and seventy one. I don't know which ones you still need. Have I seen the Princess Bride? As you wish. I can't. I I just lost my voice. Hold on, I'm choking on myself. A second, give me a second. Uh, sorry. Um, Princess Bride is one of the top movies uh, of the, the Papa's family. It's required watching like once a month. Cool Kid and you go have how often have you watched The Princess Bride? Five times? Five times in the last year or so. Cool Kid and Allison have watched The Princess Bride. It's required watching once uh, every two months, I think. 74, okay, we'll find four. No, I don't know. White Noise, no, I, I don't know. You know what I liked about White Noise, too? I loved the 1980 supermarket. It felt realistic. It felt like a supermarket I would have time traveled to. Like, I want to time travel to, uh... I want to time travel and eat food in the 80s. I know it sounds silly. I was saying how I just want to go and buy, like, a, a get, like, a... McDonald's number two meal in 1985 and then go to uh, Burger King and get like a, a Whopper. Just uh, everything is so different today. Go to Woolworths. Go to Woolworths. Go buy like, yeah, I want to buy the really amazing comics off the stand. But like with enough money, I can still buy those comics. I don't think with enough money, I can still buy a 1984 McDonald's meal where everything is not made with glossophate and all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Alright, come on, let's find some comics of value. One thing I want you to watch that me, me and Cool Kid watch is The Last Christmas Movie. Oh, I saw The Last Christmas. I watched oh, that with you. Did you watch the whole thing? Yeah, I've seen the whole thing. I'm pretty sure of it. Allison loves The Last Christmas. She's always talking about it. And she watches it. Dread Star 19. Dread Star 16. Dread Star Annual. Uh, Squadrons. Cream. Uh, Dread Star number. I don't see the number on that one. Uh, Power Girl one. Okay. Oh, Headmaster. Okay. Uh, I think Headmasters is another book that's fine. I'm gonna pull that out as a, a better. Oh, and there's two copies. Yeah. Okay. These are better books. Uh, Headmaster three. This one's lower grade, but I'm gonna pull that out as kind of like a better book. Twelve Monkeys. I absolutely love Fisher King. I remember. When I watch it, I love it, but I haven't seen it in 20 years or 25 years, so I don't know my current opinion on Fisher King. Uh, Time Bandits is uh, a little bit hard to watch. Brazil, I really enjoy, but also kind of hard to watch to me. Is that the one I made mean, us shut off? What, Brazil? Or? We might have shut off Brazil at some point. Like yeah, it was right after 9 11 we watched it, and all the terrorist attack and explosions was too much for Allison. So we had to turn it off. That's my memory of it. See, we watched the show Girls. And um, how much is the Power Girl one? I thought that one might have a little bit of value. Uh, uh, I don't know what I did with it. But yeah, no, I... Um, 
the the show girls was kind of over the top. I liked it because of just how like ridiculous the characters were. But because of that, I just think of Adam Driver as that character. So every time I see him as anything else, it's like it's weird to me. <laughs> it's like seeing Mark Hamill on anything other than uh, Luke Skywalker. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, indie, indie. Yeah, but yeah, no, Terry Gilliam makes it great. I think 12 Monkeys is my favorite out of all of them. The rest I enjoy, but they're more like a really strong, fine wine that you watch every once in a while, but not, I can't consume it hardcore. Whereas 12 Monkeys, I think I can watch like once a year and be okay with it. Okay, got she. Newman. Judgment Day. Judgment Day. All right, lots of indies here. Judgment Day, Judgment Day. Ironwood. Judgment Day, wow, we hit the really indie pile here. Judgment Day. Got the full set of Judgment Day now. Got Warlock. Uh, I went to the comic book store and the owner has a book with comic book prices. Can anyone tell me the name of that? What, the, the Overstreet Guide? Yeah, Overstreet Guide is very inaccurate though. Um, VHS tapes are starting to get really collectible right now. I've been selling them really well lately. I need to find a better way to get them. Street Fighter Zero, okay. I have a feeling this one, or no, Street Fighter number six, newsstand. So I'm guessing that's another like five to ten dollar book. Okay, Blood of Sword. And I do really like all these, um, Hong Kong reprints or translations. All right, that one's water damaged. Stormwatch. Will to Power. Okay, uh, Star Trek, Oop, and Steel. Uh, yeah, no, Supernova, uh, YouTube's been really bad. I keep losing subscribers everywhere. It's really driving me nuts. I, uh, it, it really demotivates me, honestly. If, I, if I'm doing lots of content and every time I post a video, I get unsubscribed, I, uh, or people get unsubscribed. I know it's most likely not people unsubscribing. I think it's just the algorithm clearing people out and it really demotivates me. I kind of hate it. Okay, let's, uh, uh, man, I want to do another mystery. Okay, I have one stack of stuff that was on top of everything. So let's go through the stack. All right, oh, one crate here. Wow, this is a lot of comics. Right, I'm going to stack all these up. Uh, okay. They said they had two or three more boxes of stuff, so I wonder what else they have, if there's better stuff. or uh, Namor's cool. I do like Namor. I, I don't think it has super value, but I do really like Namor. This is really beautiful. Is this... I'm not sure of the artist, but that's gorgeous. Epic, epic pile... West Coast Avengers, uh, DC. I'm gonna pull back a little bit. Okay, uh, super indie book. Uh, looks okay. Theon, another super indie book. Oh, I kind of like it's blue and white. Oh, I actually kind of like the production of that. That's actually kind of interesting for a black and white. Oh, that's actually kind of neat. Did you do the bags I yet in the show? No, I haven't done those yet. That's a future video. Fantasy features. Kind of nice looking. Oh, Mage. I do like Mage. Mage is a comic I used to collect like 20 years ago. Because I always like kind of the watercolored interior artwork. That's really neat. Ah, Blackthorn. Image. Underworld. Got Marvels. Always like the Marvels. Just imagine how long Alex Ross took to do this. Like page after page of paintings. Amazing stuff. Love that stuff. Uh, Spider-Woman 1. Uh, oh, you bought Giant Size 1 off the rack? That is, that's cool, actually. That's really cool. 
only you had known, you would have bought like a thousand of them. All right, how much was it back then? 50 cents? Spend like 500 bucks, have a shitload. Although if you had a whole, if you bought like a hundred or a thousand of them, they would all be high grade that the value would drop down to a lot less. Uh, Justice League. Marvel. Uh, that I don't know off the top of my head, Lars. Uh, oh, Alien Legion. Is this a whole Alien Legion? Okay, we got a whole bag here, which I'm hoping has something interesting in it. Alien Legion, epic. Uh, Cloak and Dagger 4. That one has a little bit of value. Uh, Blue Devil. Moon Knight Special Edition 2 with the Bilson Cabbage. Is that worth something? Can someone look that up for me? I'll go put that to the side. Hercules 3. Hercules 4. Hercules. Uh, Alpha Flight 14. Kitty Pride and Wolverine 1. I get these all the time. I always feel like these should be worth a lot more. Of course. But if you had known 50 cents would become, you know, $10,000, $20,000, I think you would have spent a few more 50 cents. Hey, Andrew. Atari Force. Yeah, this is a fun little bag of stuff. John Sable. John Sable, I think my set is almost done of these two. I gotta double check. I know I have, I think, 500 first comics. So I'm probably down to needing about 100 to complete a full run of all of them. All right, that's cool. All right, cool, Lars. That's good to know. Image. Image, I have no idea how close I am to having all the 90s ones because I just don't pay attention to it ever. I actually don't really have much interest in 90s. It, that's one of those things that made me kind of quit comics. So when I see them, it just reminds me of the time that I stopped liking comics. Oh, we got more Mage. This is cool. I actually like seeing these. More Mage. More Mage. Oh, we got a bunch of these. This is cool. A whole bunch of Mage. I like those. Metal 4. Indie box skin full. New Gods. DC. Tail Gunner. Uh, off the top of my head, I'm not sure if I like Atari Force or not. I have to look at it again. Uh, oh, this is that Kemp Power again. They must have had all the comics from that guy. Autographed by him. Maybe it was his comics. <laughs> uh, Darkhawk 20... Well, also, the first uh, Wolverine miniseries is his first miniseries, too. Just being a... Oh, that's a new stand of number three. That's cool. Being the first of anything always kind of helps with the value. Wild Seed. Yeah, this box doesn't... Or this stack doesn't feel like there's too much value in it. Glory. Rise of Apocalypse. All right, New Warriors... Justice uh, Victims Number 2 This actually looks kind of fun uh, Interior is actually really nice art uh, Line work too There we go I saw one Oh look at that That's actually really nice looking I like that goo monster right there Alright that one is really cool Barbarian. Oh, here we go. Okay, this was the stack I pulled out of the first box. So this is the stuff I kind of valued the first box out of. So we have the first um, White Vision. Or at least that's one book I pulled out. Uh, Life Brigade. Not these, though. I didn't pull those ones out. Uh, more... No, I guess I know the first White Vision is one I pulled out to kind of evaluate the first box, but that's not... The rest of the stuff is just kind of regular stuff. Not terrible stuff, but nothing of super value. Siphons. Yeah, this is all more common stuff. Vanguard. Oh, I see after... The, oh, no, this is the part that was kind of sad. Here we go. Hardware... So yeah, he had, they had a full set of uh, long shot. Uh, oh no, this one doesn't look bad. Okay, this one's actually good. So this was more of the value. 
But the other issues were water damage. And then we had turtles 20... No, 33? Turtles 33. Awesome. Love any old turtles. Uh, we have Voltron 1 in decent shape. It does have a 50 cent sticker on it. But other than that, well, it's a little bit soiled on the back. It's a mid-grade. Got more of the Hong Kong books. Impact. Infinity. Another signed Kemp Powers comic. DC. I probably would not be able to get these in any other way other than buying this. Uh, I haven't played pinball in a long time. I really miss pinball. Pinball is a game I absolutely love. And I like if I ever had the space, I would totally own pinball. Uh, I have sold some comics, but I haven't gone crazy. My only problem with comics is I, um, I don't really sell key issues. And most people only want the buy key issues. So because of that, I don't really sell that on or sell comics that much on whatnot. Okay, so and then this was, we're going to go through the box that I valued. So I already pulled out the value, I think, of this box. So we'll, just, we'll go through these really quick just to see if I missed anything. But yeah, no, I like whatnot. I feel like whatnot, I get a lot of amazing deals. I feel like I, um, honestly, I could spend $10,000 a day there if I had unlimited budget because everything is cheaper than on eBay. So it's, you save on whatnot. But but different. Like, you don't get the old stuff or the golden age stuff. You get new stuff, but new stuff that's on sale. Uh, oh, this is cool. We got old DC. A couple old Bronze Age DC stuff. Okay. That is neat. Okay. Marvel. Marvel. But, you know, thank you for using the link. I do appreciate that. Marvel. DC. A milestone DC. DC. Marvel. I must have put back the better books I had pulled out. Because I knew I grabbed a couple more. Uh, Super Boys. So a whole bunch of Super Boys. Oh, Super Not. That is awesome. Yeah, there's no wrong way to enjoy comics. If you buy them just to read them, that's the perfect use to comics. If you buy them because you enjoy the artwork... That's another great way of buying comics. If you buy them because you want to invest in them, that's okay too. But reading them is probably the best thing you can do with comics. Because you know what? They're wonderful. A whole bunch of Teen Titans. You know, because 10, 15 minutes in a comic, you just go into a little adventure. And it's awesome. I love it. Okay, I've got Justice Machine. American Flag. Justice Machine, Total Eclipse. I don't. I think I did go more thoroughly through this box one. This is the box I used to evaluate the collection. Kind of like the line of work in there. It just looks kind of cute, kind of cute in uh, manga style. Wild things. Uh, Marvel, Marvel. Ah, uh, well. No, I, even in the apocalypse and there's no paper left, I'd rather just use your hand than wipe on comics. Um, um, yeah, I agree with Jason. I think, Jason, that and for fire kindling. I think those are the two things that are not okay. But if you destroy a comic to create an amazing work of art or to um, do, like, a performative piece where you're, like, shredding them or something, that I think would be okay if it's done in a cool way. DC... But for the most part, I don't really want to see comics destroyed. I want them preserved. I want them saved for the future. Uh... Oh, I thought this looked cool. It's How to Draw Comics by John Byrne, or at least drawn by John Byrne. I thought this was kind of like a neat little historic artifact. Okay, we've got DN Agents and Cloak and Dagger. Uh, I don't think I have any at the moment. I gotta look. I don't sell a lot of, uh, trades in the shop. Or, or books. Or hardcovers. Jose, if someone trades them in, I, I sell them if it's something that I don't want. I'm more likely to sell a, uh, book right off the back than I am. That's actually a really cool cover. Than I am a single issue. Cause, oh, and the interior's pretty cool too. Wow, that's a neat book. I like that. I'm uh, I just I love comics so much that I am really slow to sell them because I do want one of everything, so I do kind of spend a lot of time um, sorting. You know, now is this Miss Mystic? I know it's Neil Adams. Is this worth anything?
because it is a really cool comic book. I don't know if it has any value. I think it's really neat, though. Uh, oh, we're going through this box. Okay. Man, okay. We're going, we're going. This is going to be a five-hour stream. <laughs> uh, that's a cool indie, indie. More of the, like, every time I see these, I just want to flip through them because I love just the line art and the watercolor coloring. I think the coloring on these are absolutely fabulous. You see? Off a flight. More DC, Superboy, Superboy, Superboy. And, uh, uh, Jason, I probably have all of them. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if I have the ones you need. I just have to find them and sort them out. Superboy, Superboy, Superboy. Because I feel like Six from Series is something that I've had in collections a bajillion times. Okay. All right. The uh, indie box is getting filled. What do we got here? We got more Superboy. Uh, War of the Gods. That's a cool issue. Okay. okay we got Superboy 11, a 16. We got Teen Titans. Titans. Hey, Robin. Micronauts. Um, Captain Confederacy. Right, my DC box is almost full. And that's cool, Lars. Was it a good read? Or do you remember it from 20 years ago? Uh, oh, Dungeons and Dragons 1. Isn't Dungeons and Dragons 1 worth something? Look that up for me. I think Advanced Dungeons and Dragons 1 is like a $20 book. If I remember correctly. I missed that one. I missed one of value. Is that a new series? Did they do a Michonne solo series? Or you just want her original appearance? Uh, Moochie, Lord of the Eight. Interesting looking indie. Ooh, I'm getting tired. It's hard to stream for this long. Okay, so yeah, it's not. I thought it was like a two dollar book. Oh, see you later, Donald. Thanks for hanging out. We got Rom seventy four. Uh, okay, let's see if I can pull out some more Marvel, just because I have room in the Marvel box. Captain Marvel. Uh, I don't really trust comic book realm. Oh, for Advanced Dungeons right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought it was probably about a $20 book. Now, this one does look like it's a little bit, uh, aged. Like, a little bit browned. So, I'm guessing it's probably about 10 in that condition. Not too bad, though. Uh, what are we going to do? Captain Marvel. They asked me if this was, series was worth anything. I was like, I don't think so. Okay, Captain Marvel. Yeah, I gotta find some more. Alright, we got this bag of things I didn't open. It looked like it was all American flag. Is that, that's the one you need? Okay, Jason, I will leave that out. I'll, Jason, you know what? I will, even if I don't have it, I will hold this out. I'm pretty sure I have it, but I'll leave that one out for you. There you go. Jason just won that for his awesomeness. He gets the awesome award. Yeah, we got it. Okay, DC. I think Jason is the only person in the world that can get a comic before I can verify that I have it already. <laughs> The only other person that might be able to do that is my friend Sean. <laughs> I think Jason is also the only person in the world that will volunteer and sort through comics for me for four hours a couple times a, a, a month. <laughs> I appreciate Jason. Jason's awesome. Uh, Thundercats is awesome. Yeah, so this is just a, like a big run of American Flag, which I probably have a lot of these already. That is amazing. I'm so happy that you finally completed and run just in time for them to reprint them in a uh, collected edition. I kind of want to get the collected edition. This is cool. I actually think I might need a couple of the American flags to complete my run. Uh, there's number one. 
So yeah, this is cool that there's a whole bunch of them in here. That probably, I probably, will, oh, and there's duplicates. This will probably complete my American flag run. A lot. Uh, Jason, if you want to sort, I'm going to have all these sorted into phase one. I'm going to have to figure out how to make room for all of them. I am out of room. But yeah, if you're up for sorting, I'm always sorting. It. I, I sort every day. <laughs> I, uh, hey, Aunt Dogst. I, uh, this is my life. Every day I'm sorting and filming and doing content. Although I'm starting to crave, I kind of want to get sorting to my indies just to figure out what I need on them. Because I get more excited to kind of see what I need. Okay, let's do some more Marvel. Captain Marvel. X-Men. Yeah, I've always heard it is really fun. So I'm actually, I'm kind of excited to complete that run. I might actually try to read it. Spider-Man The Lost Years. This is a fun red foil. I don't know if this is worth anything, but I think it's pretty neat. Excalibur. Low number with do you, are you putting Whisper together? Because I'm pretty oh yeah, this is Whisper number one, I think. It's actually the first issue. Uh, I mean, the more they reprint, the better. Keeping stuff in print so people can read them is a great thing. Oh, thank you, Patricio. I really appreciate that. You made my day. Awesome. I mean, can I... Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, people come, um, uh, come visit First Comics. Uh, yeah, The Whisper was number one. I don't know if I have that one or not. But, yes, yeah, The First Whisper. I have to double check. I might have it already. We can do a, a first sort this week if there's issues you need. Because the first is at least pretty sorted. Uh, okay, uh... Indian DC is full. I need to find more boxes. Do we have any more long boxes? Oh, yeah. I have one more long box. Uh, oof. All right. I'm, I'm like, right? If you look, DC and Indy is full. I have room for Image and room for Marvel. So maybe I'll just try to pull out the uh, Marvel and the Image and then work my way and find another box. Oh, the ones from Capital. Okay. The Capital ones, I think, are a lot harder to find. Uh, oh, th these are cool. We had some quality comics in here. I absolutely love these. I think these are amazing. Just the artwork inside is gorgeous. The coloring is amazing. Like, look how cool that panel is. That one's amazing. Oh, well, one day you can come visit New York. The cool thing about New York is it's not just my shop, but there's, you know, 20 or 30 comic shops in the city that you can visit. You can make a whole trip just to find cool comic books. West Coast Avengers. Thank you, G Timmons. Ah, uh, this cover looks cute. I hadn't seen that one before. Okay, we got Alpha Flight. Uh Mark, I don't have any sort of I usually don't sort the um the Comico stuff. I do need to do a big Comico sort soon. And I'll probably end up with some to put into the shop. Because I haven't done a big Comico sort yet. I have them sorted together. But I haven't sorted out the pull-out duplicates. Usually what I do is I sort and I sort and I sort. And then the only duplicates I pull out are things that I think will sell. So I usually don't pull out indie stuff that often. I did pull out my first stuff once uh, like a year ago just because I had someone request them. Yeah, Tina, I'm going to go for until I'm done sorting through these. So I'm guessing it's going to be like a three or four hour stream today. I know Allison wants to close eventually too. So I got to... Uh, all right, let me. I'm gonna move the DC box. I think two and a half more boxes left, Allison. Okay. All right, I'm moving the DC box. So give me one second. Let me see. I gotta gotta move the one full box. Oh, ice cream truck. Oh, I kind of want an ice cream. Truck. I also want to finish sorting through these comics. Oh, I don't want this to fall over. 
This table is very janky. All right, all right, all right. Out, out we go. Okay, DC is done. Okay, we got a new DC here, but Indy is full. I can't pull out Indy at the moment. But I can start a DC pile. Okay, let's work on DC. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Mortal Kombat set would be awesome. I know, Jason, I'm going to have the full Numidian Force. I don't know. I've never heard of it. I don't know how many issues there are, but apparently I have them all. Okay, I'm going to have to skip over. I can do Marvel and DC and Image right now. Okay, DC, Firestorm. Got Marvel. Got more Marvel. Lots of Marvel. Got Image. More Image. The Image books are the only books that really don't excite me. I see image books from the 90s. I'm just like, it's so common and so easy to get. I'm more excited for like Judgment Day and War Party. Even though I don't know how good or bad these are. They don't look that good. But I'm more excited for that than I am for image. Just because I have so much of it. And just, it's so easy to get. Almost every collection has it. Has too much of it. Uh, the Milestone stuff is cool though. I'm really excited to get that. DC... Oh, Allison's life has been destroyed. The ice cream truck went down the wrong street. You should have flagged him down like a taxi cab. Oh, he didn't even come down. Okay. Image. Okay, Maverick. Yeah, that does. Can you actually get me a soda, maybe? There you go. Okay, DC. Man, this is exhausting, but this is what I do. I just go through tons and tons of comics. Usually I don't show you guys this kind of stuff that often because it's just, it's kind of not that exciting, but it is fun just seeing so much at once and just going through all of it and all that. Okay, I need to find another box for the indie stuff. I'm going to put up top here and just put back in this box. I got Marvel. I got uh, DC. I am happy that oh, I'm dropping comics. They lost the value. They went from 20 cents to 15 cents. Oh, no. It's Youngblood. It actually went up in value when I dropped it. Okay. Okay. Blood Syndicate. DC. Indie. Uh, Dazzler 27. Starman. Doc Savage. All right. Ooh. Okay, I got Honk and Dove, Doc Savage. I do kind of like in collecting the Marvel fanfare just because they're like more, the quality for back in the day is nicer and they're kind of fun. Kind of like the glossy pages and the striking colors. Really fun books. I like those a lot. Justice. Uh, oh, my favorite Mortal Kombat. I, that I don't know. I don't feel like I ever picked one. Like, with Street Fighter, I love Chun-Li. I play Chun-Li all the time. With Mortal Kombat, I never had one character that I would get, like, all the time. That I would play every time I played. Uh, Jason, there are so many comics out in the world. It is crazy. And I just, I love just seeing more and more and more crazy. Okay, so these are the ones I pulled out. So I pulled out my love story. Because I knew I was willing to pay, like, a couple bucks for that. It's so hard to get the romance. Uh, I think I paid 5 to $10 for this because this was just a whole pack of the Flare Large ca uh, cards. No, I love it too. I'm so happy that you guys, like seven of you guys have been here almost the whole time just looking at comic after comic. But I love seeing as many different types of comics possible, whether it's the most amazing ones or god-awful ones. I just love seeing just the whole uh, selection of them. These are cool. I think I... No, I think it was $10 is how much I was willing to pay for this whole pack of them. But they're large versions of the Fleur cards. I have no idea what they're worth or if $10 was a steal or overpay. But I think they are so cool. These giant size versions of the Fleur cards. I think they're really cool. Uh, they are all got that kind of slightly stuck together feeling though. I need to put them in bags and boards separately, I think. These are probably worth more than comic books right now. <laughs> 
I think the, this era of trading cards is actually quite valuable compared to the comics from this era. Because the print runs would be a lot less. Phoenix, Storm. Does anyone know what these were? Were these were just separate prints they would sell? Uh, was there two white noises then? What is the movie with um, Adam Driver then? Like, I'm so confused then. Did you look up, was it White Noise, not a driver movie, when you looked it up? So was there another movie called White Noise with Michael Keaton? Might have there might have been. Okay. So that's confusing. Uh, I haven't seen The Flash, so I... Actually, tell me it's awful, because when I go into it, I'm going to think it's so low on the list of uh, quality that I might actually enjoy it. Uh, okay, Venom Vault Trap. This one also, I think, had a little bit of value, so I paid a bit more for that. We got Ninja Turtles number five. I don't know if that's a first. I think that's a second or a third printing. Not 100% sure, but I knew that was worth a bit more. Uh, Inhumans number four. So that was worth a bit more. Rocket Raccoon four in pretty decent shape. I know that was a bit more. Uh, Superboy nine. I believe that's the first King Shark. And then number 13, I think, is the second King Shark. So that was actually the stack of better ones that made me decide how much to pay for the box. Thank you. Uh, I have not seen any Star Wars yet. Okay, we got Judgment Day, War Party, um, The Eradicators. Like, stuff like this, I, just, I love seeing because it it's just different and not something I normally see, so it's fun for me. Uh, Magnus Robot Fighter, number five... Catwoman. Ah, man, when that for... Oh, Numidian Force number one completes the set. Wild Things. Uh, more of the Hong Kong books with just awesome, beautiful artwork. Yeah. So there must have been two different White Noise books. I mean, uh, movies. I'm so confused. Because I could have swore the Adam Driver movie was called White Noise as well. It is. I was just saying it is. So it was the two different ones. When did the Michael Keaton bo uh, movie come out? I keep saying book. My brain is tired. I've been talking. Heart was it a horror movie? Like a lady. Uh, Nicole Kidman. No, not her um, uh, um. Oh yeah, what's her name? I'm drawing a blank. Rogue Trooper, that's cool. I love any of these quality comics. I think they're super cool. I love the uh, coloring quality. And look at the line artwork on this. This is gorgeous. This is the kind of stuff that I just, I get so much enjoy flipping through it. And I like, I love collecting this stuff because it's just, it's page after page of pure fun for me. Yeah, this is awesome. One of these days, I just need to read a book like that. Just do a stream where I read these books. Uh, Judge Dredd. Sam Marie, Barbarian. Maybe I should start a series where I just read the like really indie books just for the fun of it. Just because I don't think those are the kind of videos I get copyright strikes on. But it would be fun, I think. I can rate each page. It is beautiful, isn't it, Jason? Uh, right, Valiant, DC. Right, DC. Marvel, two Marvels. Uh, whereas, like, all right, I'm going to just guess that I'm going to flip through this, and it's going to be very, very strong, not so uh, great. All right, all right, Kay, Ojo, see you soon. I, like, yeah, I just, this is the same, like, all image just has these really strong, there's no subtle to the colors. It's just, like, strong green, strong purple, strong red, I don't find this quite as interesting as uh, some of that other stuff. It's just like too much. It's like, imagine loving desserts and then they put five times the sugar in it that it should be. So it just tastes like an overload. Or like something you like, uh, potato chips, and then they just, dump, or, or french fries, and they just dump all the salt on it. So it's like a thick coating of salt. That's what this is in a comic book. Like it could be beautiful, but it's just done too saturated. Like I almost think if you took this, and you took the saturation down 20%, it would be a lot better. Oh, hey, Axel. All right, Andrew, I think I've seen that movie as well. Sounds very familiar. and uh, But that's not the white noise I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Adam Driver movie that came out like a year ago. There are three 
white noises. Oh, there's three of them. And the fourth is a sequel. And a fourth one is a sequel. Okay, interesting. And that was a sequel to the horror movie with... Yeah, uh, 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 the Michael Keaton one, he's trying to contact his dead wife. Yeah, okay. So Michael Keaton's talking through the radio to his dead wife. Okay. That's funny. So there is multiple white noises. We are correct. But yeah, the Adam Driver white noise, I thought was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. And it was funny too. It's not funny, but is um, yeah, I like the icon ones. Well, I like the uh, well. I'm saying this like as I say anything. But white noise has a scene where the train derails and spews toxic chemicals into the air. And this literally, we watched it like a month before it happened in reality. It was crazy. Actually, like five or six. Five or six months. No, I felt like it was sooner than that. Was it five or six? Oh, there's five or six white noise movies. Okay, there's a lot of white noise movies. That's really confusing. No, actually, definitely. Image started the digital, but they were really bad at first. They kind of got awful. Like, it's, um, I don't know. Image coloring, I just don't. I feel like it could have been done better. Like, you know, here's an Eclipse kind of look. Coloring is very just basic, but let's look inside. Like very basic coloring, but at least it's a slightly muted and it's not oversaturated. Like you could do this coloring digitally and not have it be so like over the top. And this is not that good. And yet I feel like if they had did that, it would be better. Oh wait, I'm throwing indies right here. Or right, here's a 1988 DC. Yeah, pretty much a standard coloring. Nothing special about this coloring, but it's not like oversaturated. Kind of is a little bit, but not not quite the same. 90s is just so over the top. Uh, a lot of 80s and a lot of 90s. It was funny. The uh, couple that came in, they were younger, probably in their 20s. And they said, uh, the guy said it was, I believe his aunt had passed away and these were all her brothers comics and whatnot so it's uh the old uncle comics which i think is funny because it's all the stuff i grew up with so now i'm i guess officially an old uncle age whereas like 10 years ago when uh, people would bring in their old uncle comics they were oh gargoyles 4 okay someone look up gargoyles 4 i have a feeling that one will have value too but yeah when people used to bring in their old uncle comics i'd get excited because it meant it would be like gold uh not gold silver age books now when people say that it's their old uncle's comics, it's a bunch of 90s stuff. <laughs> uh, wild, uh, Wildcats. I have like 50 copies of these in the store right now. Do not get excited for Wildcats. And then, well, like, here's the thing. Look at this cover. There's so much going on here, and the color has nothing... There's no anything that makes a single character or a single moment pop. So just to me, it becomes a blur. I don't see any of the details. This should be a much better image than the colorist did. And everything is very oversaturated. Like you should have some foreground and some, some background. You should change the colors enough to kind of have images pop. Like it's just too much. That's too saturated. Ugh. I much wish someone would come back and recolor all of these and just have a whole new. Oh, that's cool, Jeff. Yeah, this is also just really oversaturated. Maybe this one doesn't look quite as bad. This one's actually a little bit better. This one, the person is using a little bit more depth of field in their colors. And even this scene. Yeah, this is slightly better colored. Not quite as bad. Let's look at Savage Dragon number one. Ten bucks. Okay, sounds good. No, what it was was Image uh, didn't have the full picture, the full team. When they moved in, Image, when they started Image, it was all about the line artist. The line artist was the focus. Everything else was kind of just like an added. Like, they didn't have good writers. And I don't think they had good colorists. And it was more like, we don't get paid enough, so let's go do our own thing. We can do it on our own. Whereas a comic has a full team. You know, the writers, the editors, the colorists, everyone. So for a quality comic, you need the full team. You can't just do it as the artist. Like, 
I love Savage Dragon. Yeah, the coloring is actually way better in the Savage Dragon. Now. I think this is why I always like the Savage Dragon. Now, it's a little bit too saturated here. What's that, white page? What's that, poster? Yeah, there's a poster in it all. Ba-boom! That's actually kind of a cool page. Uh, this, I give this a slightly better color. Like, even this, at least the background works a bit more with the character. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, I want to see the line work. I want to see the line work. Let's see. Yeah. I think I already pulled out all the real books of value here, but uh, uh funny pay. So Joshua, it's a new movie. Joshua, can you write that in the comments after my live stream? I actually want to check that movie out. The funny pages or Allison, write that down. I wonder if Dragonlance one might be worth a little bit. All right, so I like this cover really catches my attention. I love the way the person uh, painted it. And I love the, the line art is just really thick. This works for me. But then the colors is just, the person must have painted these pages because I don't think these were line art. I think this was just painted pages. And this I absolutely love. I think this is gorgeous. That's fun. Yeah, Captain Beyond, they're not really worth that much. You might be able to find someone that'll give you 10 or 20 cents a piece and just, or or maybe someone will trade you a pile of something for them or something else that you want. King of the Hill, the television series? Yeah, I love King of the Hill. King of the Hill. What I liked about King of the Hill is that Bobby aged. It wasn't a show where Bobby stayed the same age for the, uh, eight years or whatever. You actually watch him progress as a character. I like that. That's my biggest problem with like The Simpsons or Bob's Burgers is that the characters do not age and they don't change. So it gets kind of stale and boring. It's like, oh, it's you know Thanksgiving again. Oh, it's Halloween again. Oh, it's Christmas again. But they're the same age. It's the same thing. You don't see the... I want to see characters mature, age, and change and have, you know, they become things. Micronauts. That's super cool. All right, I keep talking. I got to show more comics. I got to get done of these. <laughs> uh, Wonder Man 7, Newsstand. Uh, oh, these are the ones that made me sad a little bit. I think this one is water damage, but I think I'm going to put in my dollar bin just because it's a key issue that's really important. First, um, Art Adams artwork. I think that one I'm just going to put out for a dollar. Same with number two. Water damage, going to put that out for a dollar. Put that out for a dollar. Put this out for a dollar. Like, those ones make me sad, but... Uh, uh, yeah, water damage. Th these are all... I'm just going to mark them water damage. Put them out for a dollar. Someone's going to want to read them. And I just... Like, the interiors of these are amazing. I think this is such an underrated comic book. Because it's all this beautiful R. Adams artwork. This is an amazing... Like, super undervalued comic. I love that. Awesome. Okay, new Teen Titans... Oh, that's cool, Mark. Very cool. I got Teen Titans. So no Teen Titans 44. I was kind of hoping for the first Nightwing mixed in here somewhere. Medieval Spawn. Which blade? That one might have a little bit of value. Wetworks Vampirella. Captain America. Uh, some more image junk. The Dark Alliance. Uh, favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie is probably the very first one. I just, it's so campy, and that one I just, I have nostalgic feelings for. Uh, I like the third one when they go to Japan, too. That one is pretty fun. Marvel. And Nocenti. What did Anne Nocenti do? Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know. Image. Uh, the comment. I'm really bad at remembering names of people. So I'm like, most of the time, I don't know what people are talking about when they mention someone, even if I've looked at and enjoyed their work for years. Oh, that's pretty gorgeous. All right, Dark Horse. Dark Horse up there. More indie. Oh, Long Shot. Oh, did she write the Long Shot? I got to double check. So she's the, the, uh, the writer on these. Oh, okay. Very cool. So not only are they beautiful, but they have amazing stories. 
Yeah, I gotta read that. I've never read them. I just absolutely love the artwork. I think these are so underrated. I pick them up all the time. I probably have like 10 copies of number one. Yeah, exactly. They're water damage, but someone's gonna pick them up to read them and enjoy them. So yeah, why not? Amazing undervalued keys, I think. But yeah, sadly they were water damaged. Marvel DC. Man, we just hit the three hour mark. <laughs> this is a long stream today. This is a big collection though. It does take a long time to go through this stuff. Force works, black wolf, and image. Okay. Okay, I got one half a box. Okay, I think we have two more boxes to go through. You guys still ready to go? You still good for another two more boxes? And then we'll be fully sorted for the first round at least. Okay, I'm gonna move up a crate. another on um, i really i just took a quick peep but a lot of these i really did not look at because i wanted it to be a surprise i think it's fun going through them just trying to see if there's anything amazing that i just didn't know was in there okay all right okay uh, okay gonna keep going I know. I know you'll be here all day, Tina. <laughs> okay, sweet. All right, we're starting out strong. We got. Oh wait, let me go through from the last box and a half. Let's go through the uh, the value. So the last box we got gargoyles four. Uh, so I probably would pay two, four, eight, thirteen, Thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. So I think that stack I would have paid thirty-four wholesale, and then the rest of these. Oh, priceless. Five, ten, twelve. Oh, this one was in good shape though. Fourteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. 38, 39. So I probably would pay about 40 for that stack. So yeah, last two boxes were really good, actually. Really good stuff. Whew. Uh, I have most of the bulk in the store's basement. And then I have the, uh, the better stuff I keep at my office because I'm afraid of water damage. I do bag and board when I can, but not always right away. Sometimes it takes me a year or two before I actually bag and board them. I usually wait until I um, like it's actually in my collection and not in the sort phase. But yeah, it's, I need a lot more space. I, I use a lot of space. Okay, Electra, that's actually a nice hit. I don't know if it's super valuable, but that's super cool. But yeah, in the store's basement, I probably have like between 50 and 100,000 comics. Not 100% sure of the total, but it's a lot. Weapon X, uh, Shazam. All right, hopefully we find something fun in here. I haven't looked through this box yet. 11, or Elvin, Karate Girl, Pit. Oh, that's very cool, Kryptonite. Oh, Bishop, that's kind of cool. The Vision, I actually haven't seen that before. That's actually a cool looking comic. Uh, Star Masters with Beta Ray Bill. That's actually really cool, too. I wonder if that has any value. Image. Uh, image, image. Okay. Uh, if, you, if I'm cutting out every second or two, log out and then log back in. It might just be your thing. If not, I will. Um, I can try to reconnect. Uh, that I don't know. Yeah, Brian, just lo log, close your app or close the window and then, uh, yeah, Karate Girl, Jason is a winner. Close your app and then come right back in and I should fix it. Scavengers. Uh, I'm done with uh, pop collecting for now. I'm pretty much just selling and I'm going to keep the best ones and then 
I'm going to wait to see what the market does in a few years. And uh, just honestly, if my pop channel keeps dying, I'll probably not collect them anymore. Because I, I like collecting things that are, um, you know, growth. I like to see progress. I like to see channels grow. I like to do things that people enjoy. I feel like people are not enjoying my, they complain about my pop content not being there. But then when I make it, then they complain about me not doing it correctly. So I'm just like, okay, so I don't have to do it at all. Whereas comics, people seem to enjoy however I do comics, whether I spend three hours or if I spend, um, you know, or four hours of showing random schlocky comics people seem to enjoy. That's called Mr. T. Or if I do, um, you know, con content, like whatever content I do comic-wise, people seem to enjoy. So. And I love doing comics. I want to do stuff that people... Yeah, we'll do them. Uh, Iron Deadly Duo. Oops, I put that in the wrong spot. Uh, I mean, nothing is worthless, Lars, but yeah, I'm, I, it's not something that I would go out my way to get. I have to get it in a big collection like this. Uh, we got Mara of the Silts. I think that's a X-rated comic. <laughs> okay. No, another Electra. That's actually really cool. I like that. That's kind of a cool thing. Uh, Robocop. I feel like this box is turning out to be slightly more interesting to me. Wild well, thing. No big uh, keys yet or anything. Magneto. Uh, oh, more uh, milestone stuff is always good. Uh, Brute Babe. Warrior of Plasm. Uh, Cyberspace 3000. Bullets and Bracelets X Patrol. Glory. Uh, Wildcats. Fantastic Force, Thunderbolts. Hey, Mike. You've been watching for an hour and a half? That's crazy. Uh, a lot of people have been watching for one to two or three hours. It's crazy that you guys enjoy me just uh, digging away at comics here. But I love it. I could do this every day, honestly. If this was my job, if I actually made a decent income just doing um, comic books every day and just showing comic books, I would be such a happy person. I love Mira. I just don't like her portrayal on uh, the big... Or I don't like the actress that portrayed her on the big screen. But I think Mira is a cool character. Ah, uh, this is a good key, but not in the best shape. Okay, let's put this here. It's, it's, not, it's not organized at all. I'm looking forward to the Marvels movie, actually. I really like Miss Marvel. She's one of my favorite modern characters. Yeah, the Bishop foil covers are a lot of fun. My little trash pile is growing here. Milestone, Union. All right, let's find the key issue. We gotta find something big. Big key issues. Come on, key issues. Warrior of Plasma. Uh, Gladiator Supreme. Uh, Mars Attack. That's actually kind of cool. I don't know if it's worth anything, but that's neat. Oblivion. Oh, Domino. Number one. I have a slight value. Elementals. Uh, what do we have here? We got... We disconnect. All right, we're good. Whew, we didn't get disconnected forever. Ah. Lost. Awesome. Thanks for coming back. Oh, Captain Beyond, that sounds like a beautiful box of comics. That's the kind of box I want to buy. When someone says that they have their old uncle comics, that's what I want. I want a box of Charlton and war comics and genre comics. I really don't want a pile of 90s stuff. Oh, I love Archie. The older, the better. The, uh, the 1950s Archies are gorgeous to me. Oh, man, that one is wrecked. Wrecked comic. They said they threw out the wreck stuff, but there's a few mixed in here that are just filthy as all fudge. The uh, the 1940s Archies are the rarest and hardest to get. If you, you want, just stick with the 50s for a while. Honestly, the 50s will give you lots of beautiful covers that are all $20 and under for the most part. Like, once you get in the 40s, you start getting, like comics that literally cost thousands of dollars not all 40 there's some 40 so you can get katie keen stuff pretty 
affordably in that era. Ooh, Hiru, a different number one. Was there two different sets of that? I have no idea. Okay, are we gonna find anything of interest in these last couple boxes? Like, I don't know. Hey, CFAP. All right, image, image. I would like to hit another little stash of, I guess the long box is the best stuff. All the crate stuff is kind of the weaker stuff. But I didn't value it based on the... Oh, we got more of that. That's cool. Always good to see that. Uh, I do like Dan DiCarlo Archies. They're pretty cool. Bishop. Generation X. Uh, image. Marvel. Electra. What if Rogue. That's kind of cool. Ooh, Thunderbolts 2. Are we going to get a Thunderbolts 1? That would be pretty neat, actually. Uh, I love the Dredge movie, the one with uh, Carl Urban. I thought that one was amazing. Mangashi? That's kind of neat, actually. Uh, the I like the Sylvester Stallone one, but I didn't love it. It wasn't, like, the best movie ever. But the, uh, the Carl Urban one was amazing. I wish they did more of that, like a sequel or a series. I'm going to flip the sides over. Okay, wow. Like, any of you guys have been here for hours, I can't believe you're just having fun hanging out with me digging through comics. <laughs> you guys rock. That's amazing. No, I love Archie comics too. I am uh, almost done on my Katie Keen run. I got to figure out which Archie run I really want to work on next. It might still be... Um... Oh, def definitely. I'll profit on these. If I'm probably keeping a lot, honestly, but... I can easily get my $500 back just pulling out duplicates. I know it. It's just not any... There isn't a ton of value, like a huge value. There is a little bit, which is cool, but I wasn't really expecting to have a ton of big value. That's the thing. Most comic collection lots are going to be a lot of stuff like this and a lot of filler and then just a handful of more valuable stuff. <laughs> That's why you... Oh, look at that. We have a beautiful concrete cover. Concrete is one of my all-time favorite comic characters. And I don't know if I have this. This is just like a thing that's previewing future comics. That is really cool. I love that. I, uh, yeah. No, I, I, I hear you, Jason. I love comics. I just can spend hours digging through. Like, I'm literally exhausted from digging through comics from yesterday. And I'm exhausted. I did it today. I finished those last two boxes today when I came in, Jason. And I was like, I was done. I'm like, I don't want to do any more comics for today. And then this came in, right? <laughs> it's like, I can't get away from them. And like, I'm enjoying this. This is amazing. Just looking at comics. I just wish I had a system that was easier to um, the sort. Uh, no, I'm still here. Mark, did you get... Mark, tell, everyone tell Mark to come uh, leave and then come back. I'm still here. I, or, or is he done? I don't know if the stream's over for him. I'm still going for another hour, I think. Captain Confederacy. Okay. Siphons. Uh, escapers. Mantech. Was Mantech a toy line? It feels like it's a toy line. I don't know. Jason, is this a, a, a toy line? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jason seems to collect all the cool toy comics. Image 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 okay we got more milestone milestone is good more uh, image dc uh, more indie generation x yeah now i'm just i'm kind of getting into sort Sword. just get through it get through it image that's usually with these things it's really exciting for the first hour but then it just gets exhausting uh some of them are really tanned yes like this one is not tanned there's a lot of them are not tanned but there are little batches that are tanned it really depends on which ones they are i would love to pull a whole point 81 one of these days i'm looking to pull out big key issues uh out of stuff like this. This is why I kind of buy stuff. I did grab a couple of maybe fifty, a hundred dollar books. I, where did I put the, the biggest ones? 
Like for those who didn't see the beginning, I, uh, well, yeah, I, pull, I pulled the Voltron one. That's sort of a bigger book, maybe 20 to 40, not like super expensive, but still kind of a nice key. And, uh, oops, don't know where I put the rest. I pulled a, a 1985 Fantagraphics bag, which is amazing to me. And, uh, of course, classic Darkhawk number one. A hardware number one signed by the artist and the writer. Uh, trying to find the two biggest books. Where did I put those? No. And two biggest books I have mixed into another stack. So I'll pull those out later. ESP years? I don't know that series. Yeah, I thought I thought Mantec was a toy. I guess you have another toy line to collect. Union. Uh, DC. Well, although 84. Uh, it's a milestone comic book, The Night Thrasher. So when I wasn't looking at it. Uh, we got Angels, Destruction, Freak Force. No, I just I mixed them up. I have the Dark Horse in a separate pile, and then I kind of mixed them up a little bit. I got to re-sort out the Dark Horse from the uh, uh, Sword of Thor. God, it's sort of awful, and yet it's sort of awesome at the same time. Damage Control. I think this one was up a little bit right before the Miss Marvel show. More Image. Uh, image. The image does not excite me, and I know it's really hard to sell. I should just put a random image uh, mystery box on my website just so that if there is someone that wants to pay like 50 cents a piece for a bunch of 90s image, I can just sell them. You know, uh, I buy a lot on eBay too of the Archies and the Romance and stuff. Yeah, Mantech, we... Jason, we got to find new comics for since you're finishing your lines. We got to figure out what are the new comics that you are going to... I need you to be motivated so that when we go to Comic-Con, you're really hyped up to get like Mantech 3 and other... Uh, ooh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, not sure what that is. Someone look that up. It's a Midway Mortal Kombat Collector's Edition comic book. I don't know if that's worth anything, but I have a feeling it is. Catwoman. Uh, and it might be the first thing of value pulled out of here. Uh, yeah, no, I, I got, um, I put, I mean, she say Anthony hooked me up and got a new, uh, hot water system put in real quick for me. So I got that fixed real quick, but I'm still kind of uncomfortable doing too much down there. So I'm trying to keep it clean so that I don't put anything near the floor if I can. And I'm trying to get a lot more organized so that I, uh, can just get through stuff and get more stuff out for sale faster. Mechanics. That's um, Jaime, right? Jaime, the um, Love and Rockets artist. That's actually really cool. I like that. You see? Fathom. Femforce. Avengers. Honestly, I get more excited for like this kind of weird indie stuff than this stuff. Because this stuff I've seen so many times. It's this one right here. It's the Midway Mortal Kombat. I'll put it sort of to the side here so you can see or put it right there so you can see is it really 200 to 1500 holy crap question is is it actually selling for that or uh like is it actually selling for that i thought like is is this the first mortal Kombat in comics let me know if that's the first mortal Kombat in comics because that actually might be the winner of this box curious now <laughs> Allison can, can you can you confirm this comic what are you about? the Mortal Kombat all right hold on one second I gotta get back on board for it 
Uh, if it's worth between two hundred fifteen hundred dollars. I'm gonna bag and board it because I don't wanna get damaged. It's Mortal Kombat Collector's Edition. It might be the first Mortal Kombat comic book. Okay. Yeah, no, the Fathom series is cool. That's what I'm saying. Like, I get more excited for just a beautiful drawn indie comic like this. And it looks beautiful and just, like, interesting than the stuff that I see all the time. So nine, I don't know if it's a nine six, but I could see this. It looks okay. So it has, it has two or three uh, spine bends, and but the rest of it looks relatively good. A little bit of a spine bend there. I think. Oh, and it has a little bit of spotting right here. It's almost like a shadow line. It needs work. It's probably like a seven zero. Oh. I think it's probably a fifty to hundred dollar issue in seven zero oh, though. It's not a nine eight, but. Um, yeah, no, the white noise I'm talking about is the one that came out like a year ago. Was it a male white comic? I don't know. It looks like this. This is what it looks like. Yeah, okay. So that's... Holy crap. Holy crap. So that's the first, like, bigger key issue I think we got. Woo! All right. Yeah, that's a winner. I'll take it. That pays for probably one to two boxes at least. That's why you buy big collections like this. You, Yeah, I'm keeping it for sure. Oh, it was a mail? Okay, interesting. So apparently it was like a mail away. So you would have to actually mail away to get this. So it's kind of rare. That's cool. Yeah, that's, that's honestly, this is also for like, all this is for the collection. But for the most part, what I like is getting stuff like this when I buy a big collection like this, because this means I'm getting value for what I paid and it means everything else I'm getting for free, basically. Because I could have bought this out of Comic-Con for like a hundred bucks. And then like paid 50 cents a dollar a piece for everything else or i can get it in a big collection and then get everything else for free basically which is amazing that's how i love to collect sweet that's what i've been looking for just one or two decent bigger hits i think that's the second bigger hit the other one was the dave stevens um dirty pair look my friend james is coming by james you want to be on video you want to say hi to everybody Oh, 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 okay, okay. Uh, uh, we're, we're, we're rating uh, Mortal Kombat music. Oh, yeah. Did you just see me get this? Yeah. Yeah, that's like a $200. I don't want you to get defunded. No, no, it's all right. So, uh, 10 out of 10, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> How are you doing, James? Have you been watching me for, since you logged in like two hours ago? <laughs> and then off and then back on again. And then yeah. Outside. I was like, hey, they're still there. I've been here for three and a half hours sorting. James, you look beautiful. Alright, it's always a nice day when I get to see James. Oh, nice, nice. Marvel Comics. Nice Jason says hello. Uh, <laughs> what is this? It says New York special. <laughs> I don't know what this is. We gotta look at it. Kenny, your good luck, yes. Okay, let's see what this is. This is uh, Double Impact number three. So 1995 New York Comic Con. Can someone look that up for me? I have not seen John Wick 4 yet. Double Impact number three, 1995. Uh, it says it's a New York special, so I'm thinking New York Comic Con. M MCP with Speedball. I'm not... Oh, oh, uh, number 14. Number 14. I don't think... What number? There's one that's worth something. I think it's 13 is the one that has value. Here, I'll put that up. And I'll put this up right there for you. Uh, ooh, is this worth something? Oh, we kind of hit the little honey hole here. I'm 
curious about that one too. Okay. Okay, Indy. 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 Uh, it looks interesting. Don't know what that is, but it's. You're very welcome. Okay, put that back. Is this the honey hole? Savant Guard. Uh, Marvels. Marvels. Marvel. Image. Uh, okay. All right, let's get through the. I want to talk to my friend James, but I got to finish. I got one more box, James. Okay. I'm not allowed to talk to James tonight. Uh, it might be just a comic that's so rare and no one knows about it. It has zero value. I have no idea. That double impact, some 1995 comic I've never heard of, and it's like a New York special, so I'm assuming. No one important. No, there's nothing important, I don't think. Power pack. Someone who, who read Wildcats number one, and then he drew that. Yeah, something like that. Mantra with a wild coupon. I don't know what this if this coupon is worth anything, but... Coupon. Uh, hey, Lance. Ah, water damage. All right, this trash pile. Uh, oh, Street Fighter 2. Someone look up Malibu Street Fighter 2. I feel like that's another book that might have value. Uh, Avenger is it could be it was number 20 49 I always forget which issues have the, the highest value honestly for the longest time Avengers West Coast had no value so every time I see it, I still think it's a dollar bin book and I always get confused that there's a bunch that actually have value uh, this one right here number 13 yeah, I'll let's look at it for a second oops I'm putting Marvel in the wrong spot Man, uh, live stream for four hours. I'm getting hungry. Andrew, just... Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. So it's... Jason, it's probably just super duper valuable that if there's someone who really, really wants it, it might be like a $100 book. It might be worthless. Very interesting, though. I like getting really rare stuff. Okay, we got uh, Wonder Man. Wonder Man. We got more Wonder Man. Be a Wonder Man show. And more, yeah, they're supposed to be. So some of these might. Candyman playing Wonder Man. No, and I haven't seen John Wick Four. I do want to see it though. It's on my list. Jay, uh, did you watch Megan yet? No. You didn't watch Megan. Okay. I, I I really enjoyed it. It's really good. You should watch it. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's been there like since the beginning of the year. Yeah, it just became free last week, I think. Oh, oh, you had Peacock. Yeah, we don't have Peacock. We're not that rich. We can only afford uh, Showtime, HBO, Cinemax, Max, regular cable, <laughs> Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus. But I can't add another one. Uh, I think they're working on Wonder Man. I'm not 100% sure. They're just... Oh, there's there's too... an unrated version that we oh, yeah. can see. That we yeah, we, should, we watched the regular version of Megan. We should have watched the unrated. I didn't realize. It's just and you know what? I still kind of want a Megan after watching it. Even though like she might become brutally brutal. I like the idea to have a robot that will protect my comics no matter what. This one looks super cool. I know. Well, that's when you kick me out to live with my comics. I'm going to get a, a death robot that will keep people away from it. Oh, Dark. Yeah, Jason said I have to watch Dark. Dark is on my list of things to watch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Kenny. Yeah, Jason was just telling me that Dark was the show to watch. I got to watch it. Oh, yeah, I never watched that, but it was 1899. I don't know. Oh, 1899 is the same production company or same or, director? Or, yeah, or? director, writer, producer. Yeah. Writer, so 1899, Jason, is the same uh, creative team that did Dark. And they, made, they did a season and then they came. Oh, I hate when they do that. I want, I want cool and hard to follow. That sounds amazing to me. And it's in German, right? Well, it's it's you can watch a nice dubbed version, or you could subtitle it. Okay, image. 
Ooh, Mortal, Mortal Kombat 1. I don't think this is the um, the rare, super valuable one, but someone looked that up. I bet Mortal Kombat 1 has some value, too. I feel like this box has been a bit more of a honey hole this whole time. Yeah, no, Netflix cancels. Netflix cancels too many things. It's annoying. Alpha Flight. Oh, we got the famous recreation of... Uh, what was that? X-Men 109 or whatever? I forget the number. It's cool. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, I am. My hunger level is getting to 38. Ooh, okay. No box of collections complete without an amazing Gru number three. I'll take that. Not that I don't already have it 30 times over, but still. You don't have Gru number three. that you would like see, I remember like this is like one I would see all the time and then like never like cared to read it but well, it would just always be around that's because when we were younger <laughs> you're right any comic that wasn't something we knew just seemed like s static noise right you don't realize how cool some of this indie stuff is until I guess it was also like drawn weird and I didn't like it if it didn't look like a like something you were used to yeah more hands uh blood I saw bloodshot bloodshot I didn't hate it. I like, um, oh, Street Fighter 2, number four. Okay. You're going to Dally. Can you get me a snack of some sort? Like a chip? Yeah, or a soup, maybe. Something I can just slurp down without choking on it. At the Dally, then, can you go to a Dally that has soup? I don't know Okay. I feel like there's got to be soup. soup. No, come on, come on, soup Nazi. I need soup. Uh, get me a hot chocolate. I'll take a hot chocolate. Uh, Visual Assault Omnibus. They made a lot of content in this omnibus. Omnibus. Uh, there's no story tell. Oh, no, there's a couple pages. Visual Assault Omnibus Zero. Okay, I don't even, like... I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. Red Sonia. You guys know I'm getting kind of delusional because i've been at this for almost four hours now <laughs> wow. this is a marathon live stream marathon but uh, uh, clam chowder would be great right now need some clam chowder oh we got more mage always like seeing the mage mage is cool what are you finding james you finding the good stuff I might have. How long ago did you see that? Oh, I think that's a. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think that's a Jeff Darrow cover. It was. It was even a bus. It was just a mini. Isn't that Darrow? Does that look like Darrow? I feel like that's a Darrow cover. It does look like it. Yeah, I think that's a Darrow cover. I don't know. Uh, it might say on the first page. Yeah, we just found a one to two hundred dollar mail away. Mortal Kombat in this box. Amazing. But we also have Street Fighter number four, Mortal Kombat number one, and Street Fighter number two. I think all those are like ten dollar books. Oh I will, Tina. I will. I'm I'm uh I'm not neglecting my health. I'm mentally feeding my mental health right now by having this beautiful talk with you guys. So I'm actually good. And I'm not oh, is that Intergalactic Ninja 2? I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm just really tired, that's all. Yeah, we have one more crate. I want to get through the full crate just so I know it's done. And then I'm just going to close up and leave these comics and I'll sort through them tomorrow. Tomorrow, I mean, you know, like do a better sort tomorrow. Okay, we got that. Do you see? Maybe I just won't uh, read off every title. Speed it up. Maybe the last crate will be quick. Let's do a speed run on the last crate. We're at 340 minutes. We'll do a 19 minute. Then I can hang out with James for a little bit. See how he's doing. He's enjoying the smoky weather. Oh, weird science. Yeah, show. TV show. Look, look what we got. The weird science TV show. It's like a downgrade yeah. lady, but still a lady. It's a downgrade uh, cast, but 
something okay, we got angel. This crawl week. number one. Uh, I did see the second Shazam movie. Uh, it was kind of mediocre. I hated that uh, yeah. the kid that played Billy Batson was barely in the movie. It was all the older actor playing Shazam. I really hated that because I really liked He's that actor in the first anymore, movie. Right? Yeah. Well, no, he was just what he was just in his full Shazam form the whole. Yeah, but he movie. wasn't. I'm just saying, like, he wasn't like that kid. Wasn't like it wasn't fun because it's like he was like a younger kid. Well, and... even if he was a teenager, I want more of that kid and not just him as the superhero the whole time. Like I actually, unless you made a movie just about the superhero and not the whole family, but if it's the whole family and then yeah. him. It's such a funny. Uh, thing. Wait, but he's, yeah, he's still him. Just... Him as a different actor playing him. Uh, very nice lady. Yeah, but but in big, he turns into Tom Hanks, yeah. right? I didn't care about the kid. Ultra Girl number one, okay, Legion, uh, DC, Witchblade. Okay, woo, man, this has been a marathon of comic king. You know, tomorrow I'll be so exhausted from this, and yet I'll still want to do it again. We're down to the last crate. Hey, Green Man. I can't believe we've been doing this for almost four hours. This is intense. All right. What do you guys think? Do you think, well, okay, so that crate, that crate I think was the best winner just because it had one really good key issue in it. But overall, I think the four or five better books I pulled out was really good. Yeah, Zach Levy is definitely no Tom Hanks. Exactly. Exactly. I think I've seen every superhero movie except for the 1970s um, Captain America and the was the Fantastic Four in the 1970s too? It was 90s. 90s? Yeah. But that was Roger, Roger Corman. Corman. Yeah, Roger Corman made a really schlocky 1990s Fantastic Four. I haven't seen that. Other than those two, I think I've seen them all. I've actually seen there's a documentary about that movie and I've seen that but still not seen it. I bet the documentary is a hundred times better than the movie itself. Yeah, it's great. I think it's... I love that the one guy before I was talking to buying the VHS was talking about the red letter media uh, oh, yeah, uh, nookie yeah. tape. I'm like, yeah, James, just show that to me. You got full knowledge of, of VHS. Contributed to VHS. Yeah, to, to my knowledge and my pop culture experience. Yes. Well, James, you've been doing that for 20 years. Oh, yeah. Mm. So James came to start working for me in... Oh, we don't have to go over this. No, no, not that story. 2000, no, no, 2005, James started working for me. So we know this already, right? <laughs> uh, what happened, though, is James really influenced me to start buying a lot more 1980s toys. So I think before James, I was kind of avoiding it. When James started working for me, he's like, oh, remember G.I. Joe? G.I. Joe is cool. And, you know, before I know, we'd freaking put, like, a show on. And it would be, like showing reruns of old game shows and they're showing an ad for like a tiger kung fu toy and i'd like end up buying it <laughs> oh uh samurai jack is one of my all-time favorite and iron giant is one of my all-time favorites i don't know exactly what you're asking there though the iron giant is amazing uh i haven't gone back to watch any of them either jason i don't think i need to see it electro was terrible daredevil one was okay didn't absolutely hate it, but I didn't love it. Uh, Nick's Cage Ghost Riders, I don't have any strong oh, feelings for them. I just watched that. I hadn't ever seen Ghost Rider or Amazing Spider-Man, and I watched both of those movies. Oh, Amazing Spider-Man's okay. I kind of yeah. like Amazing Spider-Man. Ghost Rider's like, uh... Yeah, it's all James's fault that I bought so many toys. And no, it's not. I just It was just so much fun reminiscing with James. And at the time, he had a whole bunch of awesome like Transformers and stuff set up in his apartment. So it made me like like super mega jealous of all his amazingness. Yeah, yeah and also like I know I like I want to take the Kermits out, but I also hate it because uh, parents give plush stuff to little kids all the time, but then they don't buy it. So then it's got like kid drool all over things. So I just leave it in the bags. I should maybe have one out just so people enjoy. But I want whoever buys the Kermit to be able to open it up and get the full joy of a nice fresh plush and not covered in kid drool Val Kilmer I don't remember liking the Val Kilmer Batman that much better than George Clooney but not like I don't remember hey Dan uh, 
Wow, you guys are coming. Was there a lot of people coming into the chat now? <laughs> uh, okay, all right. Okay, last box. Let's hope that there's something amazing here. Not Megalith. Cloak and Dagger's not bad. Uh, Hasselhoff as Nick Fury. Was he... What movie was Hasselhoff Nick Fury? Oh, we got Numidian Force number six. Pretty sure... Someone look up Numidian Force. M-N-U-M-I-D-I-A-N. Is there more than six? I don't know. Oh, Best Bat... Oh, are we, are we talking about Best Batman again? Best Batman is probably... Um, Michael Keaton, I think. I think that Batman really changed my love of Batman. It has to be Michael Keaton. I mean, even though... Um, what's his name? Drawing a blank now. Who played the uh, Christopher Nolan Batman? Oh, Christian Bale. Yeah, Christian Bale was pretty good too, though. I do like the Christian Bale Batman. Like, when that, he started playing Batman, but this is like American Psycho, but he just doesn't kill anybody. Yeah. <laughs> or does he? Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Bill Sienkiewicz, beautiful warrior woman on a dinosaur. Like, how awesome is this comic? Interior kind of sucks. Not, it doesn't suck, but it's not as strong, but the cover's amazing. Love that. Yeah. You haven't seen any Spider-Man movies yet? Oh, this is sad. It's a Bilson Cabbage coverless cover. Oh. Just the cover. MD image. And forces were ten to twenty dollars. That's more than 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 I didn't realize there were. I, I was seeing how many issues there were. I didn't realize it actually had value. That's crazy. It has value. I scored then. I got all six of them. I think. Yeah, Barry Windsor Smith Machine Man is cool. Uh, I thought Ben Affleck as Batman was actually an awesome portrayal of Batman. I felt like he was one of my favorite portrayals of batman but he wasn't given a good fucking movie right he was just a side character in every movie he was in and because of that he kind of failed oh long shot five this one's actually in good shape why is it oh sweet i love that is it true this I, I just had me think is it true that like batman is usually cast as like an actor that you've heard of before and that superman is always like some new person like uh, a, like a, uh like a is that what they figure. do i feel i'm not i don't know if that's i true, don't know it seems like I remember, like, Ben Affleck, you're like, it's weird they picked the guy. Yeah, like, but he's Bru if, but think about it, he's Bruce Wayne, and Bruce Wayne would be a huge known figure yeah. within the world of, of Batman, so it and makes then, sense. Like, like, is that why, then, like, Superman's this alien? So <laughs> someone that you wouldn't know. I, yeah, someone, honestly, the logic makes sense. I don't know if it's actual reality, but it totally makes sense. More actors could play Bruce Wayne than could it's play like the, um, Superman. You have to look like a Superman. <sighs> what was that war movie, The Thin Red Line? Did you see The Thin Red Line? Movie. So the Thin Red Line is a, a like when I first watched it, I it was boring to me. The Thin Red Line, I was like because it would be a scene of a chicken just like walking for like a minute or two, and then there'll be like a little combat, and then there'll be like another scene of like clothes dripping on a line. I'm like, what the fuck? Then I realized that it was, um, wow, Numidian Force is really worth that much. Holy crap! Um, that is cool, but yeah, no, uh, so. The Thin Red Line, what it was, was is representing war. And most war is not all combat. It's the boring, you watch a fucking oh, yeah. chicken for an hour while you're waiting for things to happen. And so I just saw that because in that movie, all the uh, main actors all looked the fucking same. It was so annoying. I couldn't figure out who was who because everyone looked almost exactly alike. But all the generals were played by, like, um, staying alive. What's his name? John Travolta. John Travolta was, like, the general or the admiral. And then it was like these big names are the generals and admirals, but all the main characters in the movie okay. were all the same short-haired, black-haired guy. They looked all the same. I was so fucking like confused. But then I realized it was one of the greatest representation of war, I think, where everyone that was a soldier was a worthless, nobody the same. All the generals were someone you would know. And most of the movie was just looking at a fucking chicken walking around eating, <laughs> eating worms. <laughs> I thought it was such a good movie, actually, once I watched it and kind of understood it. Oh, yeah, Mars Attack. Are oh, you looking it up right now? Yeah. Yeah, but all those, all John Cusack, like all the bigger names were the the like cameo generals and stuff. Yeah. Forty thousand. Oh, 
Marvel, Marvel. Yeah, Woody Harrelson was like a, a admiral. Danny Hunk. Exactly. War is mostly just sitting with the biggest anxiety attack you could probably ever have sure. waiting yeah. to be shot at or to shoot at someone. It's ridiculous. Okay, what if... I look at all these actors and then like, I can name like a, a comic book movie that each one of them... <laughs> can you? Okay. Just like... oh, name the comic book movie... It was like Jared Leto was a Joker, and uh, okay, Jared Leto was the Joker. Blake okay. Nelson was in uh, the Hulk. Okay, he's gonna probably come back as the leader. George Clooney was a Batman. John C. Riley was was okay. Was in the Guardians of the Galaxy. He was a yes. He was a uh, super. Uh, Nick Nolte was in was it the same Hulk movie. And and it, ooh, I love this cover. Uh, Sean Penn. Though. Look at that beefy kid. Yeah. That kid's going to kick your ass if he steals comics. I love uh, all these Kung Fu... Uh, not Kung Fu, but... Uh, Hong Kong comics that they translate into English have these beautiful watercolor... Uh, just the way they're colored are, is absolutely yeah. gorgeous to me. Absolutely. Love it. Like, I want to put them all together and read them. Cause I feel, and they look like an easy read because it's not like... Like, there's one little bubble there and then there's some action. Like, I feel like that's a good 10-minute read and then you're just... You're done. You had fun. I love it. Marvel. Drunken fist. <laughs> With the Buddha palm. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I like Those are Funko Pops I'm going to hold on to because I feel like that's going to be a very cultural relevant for a long time. Like the kids are going to really buy, pay big money for stuff in the future. Okay, I don't want to damage any of these old beat up damage comics. Okay, let's flip that over. We got image. I know I love Mars Attacks. The um, Tim Burton was at his prime when that movie came out. Like I don't know what he did on uh, Planet of the Apes, but he just went downhill there. Like you no, know, recently he's been really good, but like he was really good in the eighties into the late nineties. Then uh, Planet of the Apes came, and then he sucked for like five movies. Like the Willy the Wonk, the Willy Wonk, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka one was like kind of terrible. Yeah, that's when you just started making things that are like intellectual properties. Yeah. I remember it being so weird that he didn't do the Addams Family when those came out. He should have though. Like that's totally. But he worked. He produced the television series, so I feel like he's getting the Addams Family we always want. That you watch Wednesday, right? You didn't watch Wednesday. It's a Tim Burton yeah. produced show. It feels like Tim Burton. I it's watched, amazing. I started to watch it and I was like, Yeah, you weren't into it? I took too long. If oh. I watched it before people started talking about it, I would have just Someone it. look up Icon 36. Is this the last one? Is this the one that's like 50 bucks? Someone look that one up for me. Icon 36. I feel like that's the big boy one. That's the one that I'm always looking for, I think. Just by the cover image. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking that's it. Okay, what do we got? We got a uh, image. No excitement for image. Supergirl. Generation X. Uh, the Invincible animation show was absolutely amazing. I thought it was one of the coolest things on TV. I cannot wait for season two. I just it felt like it was just so violent, so action packed, so like. It just felt like something that I'm not used to watching, and I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was amazing. Oh, Tim Burton was supposed to uh, produce Cabin Boy? Holy crap. That, like, I sort of like Cabin Boy, but that would have been amazing. Oh, number 30 is the last one? No, this is number 36. So it's 30 bucks. Yeah, okay, sweet. I knew that was a key issue. Awesome. No, I liked uh, Cabin Boy. I liked him on... What was uh, the show that he was on? Get a Life. Yeah, Get a Life. I actually Stay really enjoyed that. Place where you live. I really, really enjoyed that show when I was on TV. Yeah, Chris Elliott. Yeah, he, he was really funny. Letterman. I haven't watched it in 30 years, though. <laughs> I'm going to watch it again and think, oh, God, why did I like this garbage? <laughs> You never know on stuff like that. But it lives in my memories as something I really, really yeah, enjoyed. It was, it was so weird. It was like, oh, we got a Sally Forth adult <laughs> comic. Nice. <laughs> All right. Number one. You want that one, right? 
So number forty. So, but it, but this one is this one worth something? I feel like this image. It said ten to thirty. But like some, it said ten. Some it said thirty. Okay. So it's worth more than well, nothing. It's not even like sold. Right? So it's just worth it. Quasar. Okay, let me flip these so I can see them better. Ooh, I'm exhausted. Yeah, I'm trying to put together a run of Invincible. I need number one, though, and it's so freaking expensive. I'm hoping one day I buy a box like this and Invincible one is just, you know, sitting in there. I don't mind if it's a little beat up because, you know, getting a really nice one is thousands. Uh... No, well, eBay has a lot more competition, so I, th I think if you have the right comic book priced properly, it'll sell fast no matter where you put it. You just have to have the right comics in the right. If you have a great key issue and the price is really good, it will sell quick. If it's high price, eBay will probably get that price eventually, but not necessarily. Uh, it might take you a year to get the. You know, if you think it's worth fifty, it might take a year to get fifty. If you put it out for forty, it might sell within a day or two wherever you put it. That's all about how long you're willing to wait. The one thing I do like about Macari is it doesn't cost anything to list, whereas eBay has limits, and I hate those freaking limits. So I love just putting stuff on Macari and just have it sit there for like a year, and then it sells eventually. That's what Macari is good. If you have space to kind of store stuff, you just list. You try to list it proper, it'll sell. If it doesn't list, it'll sit there. It might eventually sell. Okay. Oh, long shot two. This one's in good shape too. Sweet. The fact that we got a bunch that were damaged, I'm so happy to get some that are actually in like probably very fine condition. And number three, okay, that's fantastic. Okay, happy about that. All right, more indies. We've got Harriers. This one is, this is foil. It's like highlight foil in the weirdest spots. Like this guy's face. Like what is going on with this comic? This is just over the top. I kind of love it. Ooh, Faust. What number is this? Faust. Act 10? That one's probably like a 5 to $10. Uh, yeah, this one. no. Com I bought comics on Etsy. Etsy you can sell on as well. Again, if you have the right price, you can almost... You know, if it's priced right and there's a comic in demand, it's going to sell wherever you put it. But yeah, 5000 is a good amount of comics. That's like how much I bought in the last week or so. I think this was 1500 and I bought... Uh, over here, I think I bought uh, 10,000. So I think I've purchased 15, 10 to 15,000 comics in the last week or two. It's crazy how fast they go when you just buy them thousands at a time. <laughs> I'm making a joke. It's way, I'm buying way more comics than any one person should be buying. The first step is admitting you have a problem. Yeah, it's a problem I can live with. <laughs> I've been there where I, I quit, and the withdrawal was way worse than the, the symptom. That's an awesome kingdom come. Oh, nice. I think that's worth a little bit. Indy, Alpha Flight, The Eternals. Uh, ooh, long shot six. A uh, little bit of damage, but it's not water damage. I'll take it. This is, you know what, this is um the first series that arthur adams worked on so uh -huh, like the yeah. entire interior is all his work like these pages are just absolutely gorgeous it's also uh, his first appearances in this series that i forget his name mojo uh yeah i think that's mojo right yeah pretty yeah yeah i'm pretty sure his first appearances are in that series okay got that got these oh omaha the cat dancer that's cool adult comic book but it's probably like a 10 to 20 dollar book maybe five dollars i don't know those are very collectible. What is this? Oh. All right, I'm gonna, uh, like backwards, they're flopping. They're flipping and flopping. Okay, all right, are we gonna hit any big boy books? Whew. Okay, image, 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 image. Marvel. Imperial Guard, Domino, Image, uh, Marvel. Okay. Ooh, we got half a crate. I'm running out of energy. <laughs> uh, 
Hey Mark, how are you? That's awesome. Eight ball is a great run. Eight ball is an awesome run. Man, I am. Okay, let's get through it. I gotta energize myself up. This is the last of the stack. Wildcats, Wildcats. Oh, oh, all right. I'm getting a personal masseuse now. James is rubbing it back. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Were you enjoying the smoke today? Did you enjoy the extra smoky? It wasn't like quite orange hellscape, but it was a little bit extra smoky today. Dreadstar 1. Dylan's like, we're out of hot chocolate. How can you be out of hot chocolate? We have chocolate, which is out of hot. Icon 3. We forgot how to heat water. So I got you rice and beans from the... Okay, rice and beans. Sounds good. I've been kind of craving beans. I don't know. Oh, uh... With the Warrior Nun. Is that her second appearance? Isn't that hot chocolate? Warrior Nun, or is this... No, this is the 10th anniversary of her. That's cool. I really, really like the Warrior Nun TV series. I They canceled it, though. I wish they didn't. I wish they didn't cancel the uh, the Warrior Nun series. But that was cool. All right, Superman. Did you watch the Warrior Nun on, on Netflix? It's almost Ariola. Yeah. I forget how you say her name. But the Netflix series was awesome, pretty good. Oh, yeah, only semi-apocalyptic. Not on full-on end-of-the-world destruction kind of day in New York. Like, for, from from strawberry shortcake to Godzilla attack. Like, where exactly were we today? That, I don't know. I think close to the strawberry shortcake. Oh, we got the last issue of Master Kung Fu. I do. I just want to get through this so I can finish. So okay. Have, have oh. Yeah, no, Jason's going to probably come visit me tomorrow and actually go through all of these again. <laughs> and he's going to help me sort them further. Oh, Street Fighter 1, the Malibu series. That's got to be a little bit of value there. The indie. Uh, Dragonfly versus Cyborg. Borg? No, Cyborg. That's weird. Epic. Image, image, image. Oof. Man, I'm having a hard time just going through four comics. DC, All right? Marvel. I'm not even gonna read what it is. We're just gonna finish DC. this up. DC. DC. Yeah. Well, if uh, you want to do it proper, just one. you can read the title. Dooms four. Okay. Dooms four. Image. Uh, James, now narrated by James. Here, wait, I'll turn all these over while you do that one. Yeah, okay. We so, got uh, oh, Starblade. Dark Fantasies. What did the team say? Uh, what did Paul, oh, Paul's just saying it's hot, I think. Yeah, over 100 in Texas. Holy crap, that would suck. Right. Yeah, have you guys ever thought, okay, 70 degrees is perfection, right? I know, but 70 degrees is perfection. 80 feels hot. 60 feels a little chilly. 50 feels cold. 90 feels hot. So the difference between 70 and 90 feels like a huge difference. Yeah. So the difference between 90 and 110, or like when it gets to 106, that's the difference between 70 and 90, but from 90 to 110. It's that's how hot. fucking hot it is. That's hot. You just don't think about how hot that is, but it's the same difference in heat. Okay, and we're looking at dark we're fantasies. We're looking for... We're as far away now from Cleopatra as President Kennedy got shot by a guy named Lincoln. I don't <laughs> know if you knew that. <laughs> That's true, though. <laughs> Did you know that Atlanta, Georgia is closer to Canada than it is to Miami? <laughs> there we go. We're spouting facts. I didn't know that. Oh, we're just all saying facts. <laughs> yes, spout some facts. Let's hear some facts. Marvel. Holy crap, I'm hungry. Okay, all right, I'm just, I'm not even gonna sort these. I'm gonna save this last bit here for Jason. We're just gonna look at them real quick. I wanna see if there's anything of value hiding in here. I'm surprised there was no like Secret Wars or any of like the major. This must have been picked at some time. I feel like it. Okay. Witch Hunter. Nope. Witch Hunter. Oh, Thunderbolts won. There you go. Ding, ding, ding. What is that, 40 bucks now? Thunderbolts won. Okay, sweet. Supreme. ROM 65, Vanguard 1, Ultra Case, Phantom Force, Out of the Vortex. Oh, you can't even see what I'm showing you. Okay, here we go. Freak Force, Stormwatch. All right, absolute garbage. Garbage in a garbage. 
Alright, uh, Doom 2099. James loves, James loves Doom. I can't even talk. Blood Strike. I see. If I was a goat, I would be so oversatiated. Oh, oh, Mortal Kombat 6. There we go. Hey, we Goro. Oh, Goro. All right, we're getting some valuable hey, comic. Some uh, video game comics are always valuable. Horrible. Always say, if you're digging through a dollar bin, if you see a 90s video game comic, just grab it. It's going to have value. Uh, oh, we got... Uh, all right. That's, oh, okay. That's, oh, oh, oh. We got to get through this section real quick. Real quick. Okay, there we go. Catwoman. Oh, man. Everyone smells like barbecue. Oh, my God. That sounds like putrid where you walk around it's so hot outside everyone smells like barbecue because they're burning oh. oh my god that's that's hideous icon hyper kind them. oh that's oh baker mars from mars that's cool is that worth anything i feel like it should be okay we got that we got that drunken fist what does that make you think of syphilis what does that make you think of <laughs> syphilis right yeah there yeah, we go the great. syphilis of course. Just uh, no. the word oh. of that comic is stuck with tape oh no okay this one has to go in the back better bbq than butt okay all right all right, all right. let's get through these get through these let's get through these uh I think I do have that Batman in my collection. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I have it. I pretty much have all the common, more common Batman stuff from probably late 60s to present day. Maybe missing a few things from the last couple years. Okay, no, okay, we're good. We are done. I think I have to call it quits because I am hungry and exhausted. It's been four hours, but this has been wonderful. Okay, I'm going to go to there. Okay. I just want to let you guys know I appreciate you. I love you guys. I can't believe there's 95 of you. I think at least like 60 of you have been... 97. You like Probably like 50 of you have been here for four freaking hours. This is amazing. Uh, I might do the walk channel in an hour or two. I have to see how much energy I have. Uh, but this has been fun. I appreciate you guys. I 